<laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to the show. That's right. We're here this Thursday morning live. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Great to see so many beautiful people, amazing, wonderful, fantastic people. As here always, every morning, we start the show as we always do with our THX certified George Lucas, Steven Spielberg, Peter Jackson, and James Cameron approved special effects extravaganza. <laughs> Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Don't you misconstrue it. <laughs> I used to work at a place called Hewitt. Bill Hewitt, one of the best bears that ever lived. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Lido was number one. Here's your happy dance. All right. Yes. Greg Jonick, number two. How do you do? Good to see you, sir. Um, let's see. Hi. Yeah. All right. Welcome to the show, buddy. Well, always good to see you here as well. Let's see who else is here today. Let's find out. Uh, scrolling, 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 scrolling. Um, glad my hand's not swollen. I'm going to keep on scrolling. Little Chihuahua's here, ladies and
Equipment malfunctions on the functions of the functions of the unctions. <laughs> Little Chihuahua Big World is here. All right. Um, let's see. Who else came here today? Let's see. Greg Jonick, Little Chihuahua, Dr. Leno, Juggernaut, Jared Reed. Good morning, everybody. Today is trip day. I'm so excited. All right. Glad to hear. Glad to hear. Hey, Rajara's here. Hola. Good morning. Como esta? Muy bien. Ito? Um, let's see. Who else? Black. Heart. Night. All right, all right, all right. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> that was good stuff, man. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, the beautiful, the gorgeous, the amazing, the fantastic Ray is here. What's up, Ray? How you doing this morning? I am tired. Oh, crap. <laughs> no, don't clap for that. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's, it's weird. I, I, ah, you haven't been getting enough sleep, and you definitely need your rest. I feel so bad for you. <laughs> no, why do they keep clapping for that? It's not like I'm not trying. I'm trying to get rest. I'm just not, you know, I don't, I wake up, I wake up, so. Right. Here I am. Understood. Well, I'm glad you're, I'm always glad to have you here. We love you. We love having you around. Absolutely, positively. Robert Thomas is here. Rise and shine with Hezen Ray. Hey, hey, we'll make your day. That's right. Um, let's see, Little Chihuahua, Doc Leno, Blackheart Knight, Highway Star, oh, Ray. Link 219 is here. Good morning, folks. Good morning, Link. Um, Highway Star, how are you feeling, Ray? Tired. All right, we got that one. Patrick Dagler's here. Hello, good people. That is a fact. We definitely have good people here. Uh, Robert Custos, ladies and gentlemen, one and all, his Ray Mods and Chad. All right. All the way from Great Britain. That's the place to be. If you want to lose a cricket match, that's the place to go. No, I don't know anything about cricket, except yesterday they said crickets in the chat. <laughs> With a picture of a cricket bat. Rhymes the chat. There you go. Broderder Watch is here. Evening, Friday Fowlers. Jason Gutterman, Friday Follies and the Rasher. Um, let's see. Highway Star, Pat Dagler. Um, let's see. Let's see. VW Sniper. <laughs> Gotta get them Volkswagens, but, or wait, WVs. <laughs> My brain said VW, like Volkswagen. It's WV. Never mind. <laughs> um, let's see. Patrick Dagler, what's up? The son of Ramen Egg, what's up? Um, let's see. Who else is here today? Let's scroll through and see. Hooray. Terry Barnes, good morning, friends. God bless you all. God bless you, sir. Always good to have you here. Um, Let's see, Jason D. Um, Link two nineteen. Patrick Deckler, Robert Custos, VW Sniper, WV Sniper. Hey, I think we're all caught up. <laughs> welcome, 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 everyone to the show. It's good to see you. Just immediately, he pizzas. Good Lord. Good Lord. Look at that. It there only is. took a minute. A minute to win it. <laughs> Look at this. Already, we haven't been on the air for more than, what, five or well, 15 minutes, I guess. 16 minutes and 17 seconds. I've already had my audio go out for a second, and then I already pizza. Look at that. We're, I we're think all you knocked your own audio out when you're dancing around. I think you hit your mic, and it's like, boom, you knocked it on mute. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, what happens is my um my soundboard 
every once in a while, it just randomly resets itself for no reason. And that's what happened. It just turned off. So I had to turn it back on. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you, Highway oh, Star. Oh, crap. Sorry. You got it. I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. Highway Star gifted five Fraud of the Follies memberships. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Here's your happy dance. All right, girls. <laughs> Love it, love it, love it. Love it from the oven. <laughs> um, anyway, um, I wanted to start the show today. Um, should we show the, the update video from Troll before we talk about the Regan Benson thing, or do you want to talk about it first and then show the video? We can talk about it, because I don't I don't think there's anybody here who hasn't seen it. So, Right, okay, so... For those of you who, who don't know what we're talking about, so the other day, Regan Benson went into the library and um, the security guard said, you have to sign the thing before you go to the bathroom so that we know who's in there or whatever. She refused to sign. So then she started arguing with him and he didn't like it. So he got up and walked away and she followed him all the way out the building and just kept filming him. So basically she was stalking and harassing the guy. So... The other day, Fraud or Troll yesterday posted a video. He called um, the local police in her area and said, hey, is there anything going on with this Regan Benson thing? And they were like, actually, we are aware of it. We investigated it. But um, we went to the uh, security guard, and he decided not to press charges. And um, so, Ray, you were saying you had some ideas about that? Oh, yeah. I mean, if we, if anybody remembers the first video where she was following him around, his boss was like zero help to him, like zero help. So Why I'm thinking, yeah, I mean, his boss was like a weak ass bitch. I'm sorry. That's what my theory is, but didn't help him. So I think that when it came time and the cops were there and he got asked if he wanted to press charges, I think his boss wouldn't let him. I think they were like, oh, it looks bad on Allied. You don't do that, blah, blah, blah. So I think if he was left to make his own decision on it, he would for sure have pressed charges on her because he wanted to call the cops to begin with. I think yeah, he would have had her thrown ass in jail before the day was over with. <clears throat> right. It's hard to say because, again, obviously we don't know what was going on in the guy's head, but we do know like she said from the video that his boss absolutely did not back him up at all, not even a little bit. And so it, it is definitely uh, possible to, to imagine that his boss saying, no, oh, no, 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 we don't want that. Don't do that. You know, and talk them out of it. Oh, man. Even though it's his right because it happened to him. Right. to do what he wanted to do with that. I mean, it's ridiculous that nobody had his back to begin with. And it took a bunch of people calling and, you know, talking to the police to, for them to even, in, in the library, for them to even do anything about it. Yep. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's horrible. Um, the way that that whole thing was handled, like you said, even from his boss and all that, it just didn't help him. And, like, even when it first happened, like obviously their comment section. Oh, wait, what is this? That's where I like my boss. If I want to do something, I have the backing of my boss providing it's legal. Yes. I think he's the only one actually listening to our conversation. They're all <laughs> talking about that stupid shit with um, Chrissy and all that. Oh, the, 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 the yeah. I, I thing from last yeah. night or whatever. All right, that's a whole other subject. We could maybe yeah. talk about that later. But, I mean, that's like a three-hour video. Obviously, we're not going to show that. Um, right. But, yeah, um, that's the thing. Like, it, it's when you are you have a policy, right, and your policy is, hey, you have to sign the thing before you go to the bathroom. And then the boss comes over, and it's like, hey, what's going on? Well, he says I have to sign the thing. Oh, no, 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 you don't have to sign nothing. Don't worry about it. It's like, well, wait, wait, wait a minute. If this is the policy of the place, even if you want to say, oh, no, or whatever, you could throw in there, oh, well, it's because the library people told him he should have you sign the thing, but I understand mm -hmm. what you're saying. It's all good. 
But no, he didn't even do that. He just completely was like, no, nah. No, yeah. And there's obviously people that sign it. So obviously it's there for a reason. Yep. So his boss doing that to him was just atrocious. I was so mad for him. Oh, my God. You know what that feels like when you have a boss that just doesn't have your back, who's willing to just throw you under the bus. Why? Because she has a camera and a loud mouth. Right. He did the right thing. I'm doing my job. I'm sorry you don't like it. Go talk to the library people. They're the ones that have us doing this. And, and she gets he mad said. at him and, and right. shoves a camera in his face and follows him around because he's the one that asked her to sign. He's just doing his job. He was yes. literally just doing what they asked him to do. And he suffers for it because yeah. she's she's got a sick brain. Yeah. Yeah, there was no reason after that interaction to follow him with the camera and film him when he was outside taking no. a strip break. Like, why did you, why? What was her motivate? Like, if, if I sat down and asked her, what was your motivation? Like, what would she say? I, I don't even know what, what her, in her mind, what the idea behind that was other than just to be evil for the sake of evil. I don't know. That's what she does. She's evil for the sake of evil. And then... Fast forward, she gets handed this prize. They try to hand her this piece of paper. It's on the ground. She sits there yapping with her subs about not picking it up because I don't take service. Blah. She walks away and then goes, let's go get this piece of paper and then wonders why it's not there when she comes back. Then she comes up with all these conspiracy theories about everything. It's like, dude, you're the one that didn't pick up the paper. Right. So don't wonder why it's not there when you come back. Right. And like at one point she's like complaining about, oh, well, I, they just littered, huh? So, OK, so then if it's litter, then they picked up their litter because you wouldn't take it. So what did you expect them to do? Just leave it there? And then she's nasty to them, like, huh, Neil, they coming soon. Like they're just idiots. Tells, tells them the librarian has the, the cops, the librarian has a second grade education. No. And she wasn't charging her with a crime. She was putting down what crime was committed. She wasn't charging her with it. Right. The reason for her, you know, the trespass exclusion or from the library was because you committed this crime. They weren't charging her with it. The cops would have charged her with it. Yep. Yeah. And he, the, the, oh, man. She's a loudmouth C word. <laughs> yeah and i don't use the c word lightly for anybody oh, when you're talking about regan benson it almost yes. uh, fits <laughs> and she still just will not say okay like you said this morning to me all right he chose not to press charges he was that was great because she could have faced a serious charge here you know right where's her apology to him and her Thank, thank you for not pressing charges. Right. Where is that? Well, exactly. Like, like because he didn't press charges on her, you would think would be the perfect opportunity for her to post a video retracting every bad thing she said about him. And, you know, like, oh, you know what? You are a good guy. You had a chance to press charges on me and you didn't do it. All right. No, no, no. Nope, oh, just double down on, oh, what a horrible, evil, rotten tyrant these guys are at Allied. We got to get him fired. Yeah, that's what she's probably going to do. She's probably going to try and get him fired now and everything else, not realizing that he did her a big favor and that she should be graceful and say, I'm I'm sorry, I, I was having a bad day like I am every day, and I realize it's not your fault. I'm going to go to the people, decision makers in the library and I'm going to go to town hall meeting or whatever, and I'm going to get this list taken away. Yep. So you'll never have to worry about it again. Speaking of which, um, for you guys who, who haven't seen it yet, you got to check this out. This is some exclusive footage of Regan that I found uh, a couple years ago. I, I, I posted this. Thank <laughs> you. 
put in the chat. Can you spot the difference? The cow is way cuter. <laughs> the cow is better looking. All right. Yeah. And probably I way nicer. Her. Huh? And probably way nicer. Yep. I remember when you posted that, and I wasn't expecting it. And I about fell off my chair. <laughs> oh my God. I remember that. Yeah. Well, when I was watching her live, and she was just sitting there chewing gum and not talking. I'm like, she looks like a cow chewing her cud. And then I'm like, well, there you go. One is a revered animal in India, and the other's a cow. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, she wouldn't be revered in India. She wouldn't be revered anywhere. They'd probably kick her out of the country. <laughs> Extradite her back to the United States. I was like, I think I posted something like... Um, one needs to be milked every morning or it turns into a raging uh, banshee and the other one's Karen Benson. Right. <laughs> or no, the other one's the cow, I said. Right, right, yeah. right. The other one's oh. the cow, yeah. That's funny. <laughs> anyway, that, that's a classic Hezekiah video, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Maybe she should just go back to smoking. I don't think she was one that should have quit. Right? Maybe that would have mellowed her out a little bit. Uh, nice calming nicotine. It's a hearty black heart night. You're right. The cow is not a banshee. I said it would turn <laughs> yeah, the cow is a good thing. Yeah, it would turn into one if it wasn't milked every morning. Like I said, she I'd would. actually pass the she cow. Would. <laughs> I would. She would turn into a banshee if not milked every morning, not the cow. <laughs> Right. Oh, she needs to freaking needs to be milked. Right. That's why I said the other one's the cow. Okay, Hess, that was really funny. Props. Thank you. Yeah, yeah man, that's I don't know. Sometimes I think of going back to doing more of like my original videos were all like sketches and stuff like that, you know, but they didn't get a lot of views. So, like, I don't know, sometimes I think about going back to doing those, but then I'm like, well, nobody likes them because I didn't get any views. But people didn't know who I was yet at that time, how they do. So, I don't know. You could put them at the end of your videos. Well, if they're short like that, yeah. Um, yeah. Like, if you do a Regan Benson, Regan Benson video, um you can uh, put them at the end, you know, just make short skits about the video. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did too. Rasheen, I watched them. I thought they were hilarious. That well, one yeah, really got me, thing. though. Huh? That one really got me when it, <laughs> I was not expecting it. I was like, oh, my God. Yep. Yeah, that, that was good stuff. I like that. <laughs> Oh, oh man, yeah, she right. hasn't. You know, you're right. She has not mentioned one thing about this. Um, uh, Regan hasn't mentioned to anyone about Denver opening 60 tiny homes in first standalone micro community for people experiencing homelessness. Nope. She has not mentioned that at all. Yeah. All the, when they do something good for the homeless people, she. You know why? I know, thing I noticed about Regan is that. She will help one homeless person at a time. It's usually a dude, sometimes a female, but usually a dude. And I think that's because she likes having a whipping boy. Right. Like some kind of personal slave that she can drag around with her to do things for her if she needs them. Like a go get her, go like go do this, go do that for me. It's not right. really helping a homeless person. It's having a personal slave assistant type thing. Well, I don't know if you remember, but it, one of my favorite videos of her back in the day that I covered as far as showing her hypocrisy with the homeless thing was um, there was like, she was in city hall and there was a homeless family in there. And she had like, because her charity, she had like these, these prepaid cards that she was given homeless people and she was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to help you guys out. I'm going to go get you a card. And 
literally like her car was there. So like, I have to just go run to my car and grab the card. I'll be right back. So does she go out the door, grab the card and come back? No, she makes the poor homeless people that she's trying to help wait while she goes all the way across the other side of the building so that she has an excuse to get some more footage of her harassing the security guard there. She has this hard on for going after security. Yeah, I remember that. She, she didn't go right to her car and get the card. No, nope. she went to harass the security first, then went to her car and got the card and came back and said, sorry to make you wait, you know. <laughs> like, okay, lady, that's, well, well, we know where your priorities are. Making your stupid YouTube video is way more important. Right. And oh. harassing security guards and people in our everyday life is really just helping the homeless and being an advocate, a strong advocate for for them. And no, she'd rather harass the homeless than call them heroin addicts. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, when she's down I, there trolling for her next, you know, assistant. Right. 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 That's just my theory. Nobody has to. Agree. Well, it's a good theory, though. I like it. Um, I also have, um, for those of you who don't remember, I have exclusive footage of one of the town hall meetings that she spoke at. Um, we could check that out real quick. Uh, let me exclusive close. footage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. You can only see it here. Um, I just I gotta find it. Uh, Let's see. Okay, hold on. Hold on. All right, hold on. All right, hold on, guys. This is live. It's live. Yeah, Robert. And then she rage quit because she couldn't prove anything was, you know, um, accurate. All right, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is exclusive footage you can only find on this channel of one of the many uh, town hall meetings that Regan Benson went to. Here she is, ladies and gentlemen, Regan Benson. Just do better, man. Hi, I'm Regan Benson, and I'm back. I know you hired actors to say they hate me last meeting, talking about the last time I was here, but I know they were fake because everyone loves me. Because the way I speak, everyone knows I am well-spoken and well-educated. should be taken serious. So being a serious activist, you nasty, sucking, kissing, extortion, nitwit, halfwit, stupid, corrupt cops, arrested my friends, you lousy, no good, Liars, moronic, licking, homeless people, brain dead. Servants, bow down before me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yay, Maggie. <laughs> yes, yes, great job, great job. That was the first thing. Uh, the first video that uh, Maggie and I ever collaborated on. Great job, Maggie, from the for Auditor News Network. Oh, and fun fact, Maggie huh? did that in one take. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Um, in fact, it was insane because I sent her the script, and like less than five minutes later, I got the email with the audio file. <laughs> That's like, how insanely good she is. Yeah, yeah, it was amazing. And I guess she was saying her husband was like, what the heck is going on? Because he heard her, like, you know, talking to them. Because without me bleeping everything out, you know. Um, I've seen a few speeches to town hall meetings about the homeless. All she ever does is berate people there while saying that they need to do better in helping the homeless. But she never goes into how. Exactly. Exactly. You guys need to do more to help the homeless. Because you guys aren't doing enough to help the homeless. So do more to help the homeless. And I'm here to tell you guys, you effing, and you stupid blah, 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 you're not looking at me. And you stupid blah, 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 you're the one who arrested me. And you blah, and it's like. 
Oh, and then she says, oh, and stop telling them they can't pee in doorways. Yeah. <laughs> Where are they supposed to pee if not the doorway? Right. Where are they supposed to go? They don't have access to bathrooms. Let them pee in everyone's doorways. Yeah. It's unconstitutional to say they can't pee in doorways. <laughs> Just where people walk, you know, that's all. Oh, man. It's. <laughs> and look at me when I'm talking to you. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh, she's big on that. Um, But yeah, and it's like, that's the thing. Like, it, it, obviously, I'm not going to come down on, on homeless advocates. Obviously, that's a good thing to be. But I wouldn't call her that, though. Exactly. Exactly. When she's I making her videos. A Karen Benson advocate. Yes. When she's making videos where homeless, like, okay, you want to go out on the street and film people and somebody asks you to stop filming and you refuse to stop filming, that's bad enough. But when you supposedly have dedicated your life to advocating for the homeless and they ask you to stop filming and you refuse to stop and end up pissing them off and driving the nuts and then more stress to their lives, how is that advocating for the homeless? <clears throat> I, I can't think of a single reason why it is advocating for the homeless. It's making their lives worse. Right. And um, to her mouth. Like I have a like a small like duh moment to confess. Okay. I was looking for her channel one day because nobody had heard from like there was no Regan Benson anything out there, right? And I couldn't find it. I'm like, where's her channel? Did she take it down? Did they take it down? What's going on? You know, I'm like, huh, maybe that's why nobody is following, like doing anything on her because her channel's gone. You know, I'm like, why can't I find her dang channel? I'm like, there's no way that she would voluntarily take her channel down. Right. And then I realized I was searching Karen Benson. <laughs> I'm like, oh, but her name's actually Regan Benson. It's like we just call her Karen Benson. Yeah, I'm like, oh man, search the right channel, you idiot. Well, the, we just no, call her Karen Benson. That is, that is though, that is kind of like because that has become a very common thing for people to refer to her as Karen because she's a Karen. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's understandable um, because honestly, the first time I ever looked pizza. Pizza Thief. Can anyone tell me what movie that's from? Pizza Thief. Pizza Thief. I want Pizza Thief. Don't tell them. It's pizza time. It's pizza time. Well, it's the only word that rhymes. Meow. All right. <laughs> now that time I did hit the microphone. Hey, Chef M80. Good morning. Great to see you, buddy. All right. Lisa L. Alcazar, Alcazar, good morning. I'm sorry, I can't see. Lisa Alcazar, good morning. Yes, welcome. I'm in the mood to throw out a happy dance just because I'm a happy person. All right, yes. So there. Um. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that, Chef. I mean, how can I forget about that? I thought DMA was advocating for porn in libraries while only having your bits covered and reeking to high heaven, but reeking, reeking to high heaven with your emotional support bag yeah, of garbage. garbage. Yeah. Hi, Greg. Good morning, Greg. Yeah, I remember, yeah, where he was actually advocating because it's their right supposedly, to watch that in libraries. And I'm like, uh. and somebody asked him if he actually agreed with it. And he's like, well, no, but it is their right. And I'm like, then why the hell are you advocating for it if you don't actually? But hmm. Well, that's the, that's the thing, too. Like, when you listen to these guys talk, on their panels and stuff. And if you try to actually like take a reasonable or logical approach, obviously that never works with these people, but Oh, past unremembered. Wow. I finally caught a live, just started a new channel myself called past unremembered dealing with frauditors. 
All right. Congratulations. Um, yeah, let's look that up. Let's see. Past unremembered. You got anything up there yet? Um, let's see. The unremembered past. Um, I think that's something different. Can you email your link? I'll drop our emails here. And can you email your link to us? Yeah. Or I'll drop the channel. E what is the channel email? I forget. Hold on a second. Yeah, it's like Hezo Ray or something. Yeah, Hezo Ray. Okay. It's so new. I like forget what it is, you know? Right. Yes, we have an official, we finally have an official channel email. It's Hezo Ray at gmail.com. Um, up until then, I've just been using my email or her email. Like this is, this goes to both of us. Thank you, um, Fraud at her Watch. Fraud at her Watch just um, dropped the channel. And um, if you could still email it to hazelray at gmail.com, I would appreciate it because I'll make a link in my, my list for it with all the bells and whistles I always have on there. Sounds go do to me. Yeah, because when I type, sometimes I type faster than I write or write or type faster than I think or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, you do. You know. read faster. You you talk faster than your brain is, you know, you got to right. let your brain catch up to your mouth. Yep. And when Thank that you, happens, Vince. a lot of times I end up typing, when I go to type good, I'll type G-O-D-O -O instead of G-O-O-D. So go do is become like, hey, go do this. <laughs> um, you know what my thing is when I type and, I always end up typing S. Oh, they, well, I keep doing A-D-N. Oh, look at this. Mr. Ghost, ha ha, is uh, the most recent video. I did Mr. Ghost um, about two videos ago. Um, it's that name Mr. is so stupid. Hey, you want to check it out? See what uh, Past Unremembered is all about? Yeah. Do you mind if we play a video? Okay, Blackheart, thank you. I'll look at it. Um. I want to ask them if they, they mind if they play video. Can we play a video past unremembered or you going to be right strike? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> People wouldn't do that. Nope, go ahead. Not at all. Let's see. What all happens. right. Ladies and gentlemen, the premiere of past unremembered. Woo all right, let's find out what they're all about. Making fun of Mr. Ghost. Ha Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. Wow. That's hip. I think that. I like that a lot. I'd put that on my wall. Past unremembered. The auditor has given a misleading title to the video. He calls it, Imagine a World Where People Are Afraid of Cameras. The featured individuals in the video simply aspire to live in a world where mutual respect is highly valued. We advocate against intrusive filming practices, especially during moments like meals. It is reasonable to assume that most people would prefer not to be recorded while enjoying a meal at a local cafe. The unexpected intrusion by a ridiculous individual wearing a fake beard only served to create an unnecessary situation for them. Rather than creating weird scenarios for entertainment purposes, it would be more productive to envision a world where everyone can experience a sense of security and dignity. In such a world, individuals can enjoy moments of tranquility and pleasure without the constant fear of being under surveillance. Do we really need more stress in our day-to-day -day lives, particularly when there is no need for it? Instead of fabricating scenarios for entertainment, it would be more beneficial to imagine a world where dignity is prioritized. 
What's up, freaks? It's the amazing Mr. Ghost. And today I am with Darkling. Darkling Nemesis here. There he is, guys. Anyway, so here's the plan today. What we're going to do is stand on public property with our cameras and our equipment and just stand there. It's as simple as that. All we're going to do is stand there and document how people react to us. I want to make clear, we have no control over other people's behavior. The only people that control their own behavior is themselves. Everyone is responsible for how they act in front of my camera. I do not encourage or influence any type of behavior. We just document the real world. Wait a minute. This is exactly the same thing I said about this guy when I did a video on him just a couple of weeks ago. Look at the way he's dressed. I hate, hate, hate that these guys all do this. I'm just standing there filming, and I don't know why these people are are, are, are reacting to just to seeing a camera. It's not the camera. It's, look at him. I mean, he's not, he's not in a reaction. I just, action. Oh, yeah. But seriously, like, how could anybody, how could his fans, how could people that support this sort of behavior possibly buy the idea that I don't understand why these people freak out when they see me just filming? When you're dressed like that, you're obviously not just filming. You're obviously up to something. Like, am, am I crazy? I guess so. All right, let's go back, get back to the video. So whether people have good reactions to me or bad reactions to me, 100% on them. Remember, guys, when you donate to support Mr. Ghost, a portion, portion of these donations go to foster care families all across the country. So you're doing a good thing. You're helping me travel. You're helping me make content. And you're helping foster kids that need help, more help than Mr. Ghost will ever need. So remember, guys, uh, enjoy the video, like, subscribe, and the most important thing, no hate. Let's all love each other. This country is about freedom and love. Peace out. Okay, how are you, sir? Good. You're good. How are you doing? Go, go, go. Can we help you or? No? Oh, no, not yet. Thank you. I'm sorry. Oh, we're doing a documentary on restaurants. Why are you wearing a mask? Mast? Why are you wearing a mask? Oh, it's not a mask. It's a beard. It's a fake beard wig. Why are you wearing glasses? Because I can't see. Okay, I'll if wear I don't take this. I just see you. Why you guys are recording? Yeah, that's why. Can we help you or? No, I was just asking why you're recording. We don't want to be in a documentary. In your, in your so could you not? I wasn't recording you until you yelled at me. Great. Could you not? Not with that kind of language. Maybe. We weren't recording you until you yelled at me. Throughout your opening monologue, you mentioned passive recording, yet it wasn't implemented. Do you truly understand the concept of passive? It seems challenging for you to remain passive as you tend to escalate situations by speaking. We will see if you attempt to adopt a passive approach in the future, though it seems that being passive was never your intention. Love your glasses, love the beard. Thank you, sir. I love your beard too. And the do rag is just yep. right. I have a question. Is your beard is real though, right? My it's beard not fake. Is absolutely. Awesome. How long did it take to grow this? I cut it every uh I it took about eight months to get here. Nice. I cut it about eight months. Nice. Ago. Uh, once a year I cut it. Okay. I appreciate it, sir. You got it. Man. Thank you. Hey, you guys got a channel or something? 
No, I'm actually filming a documentary on yeah. different restaurants here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm trying to. We're trying to keep the customers out of the shots, unless they talk to us like you did. Or, or, I'm or just. F you like the other one. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, some of these people are really aggressive. So if they say stuff like that, I'm gonna record them in right. case in case something happens. Right. I'm not here for trouble, no. as you can see. I, I wonder, like, if we did a count of how many times he lied so far already to people in this video. This guy, even this guy who's being nice to him. Do you have a channel? No. They all lie, though. They all lie from start to finish. They are so disingenuous, and there's nothing true about any video they make. Nothing true. So if you want to get people's honest reactions to what you're doing, you have to tell the truth. And how is this an honest reaction to what you're doing? It's not exactly. exactly. It's we not an honest it. reaction because you're lying throughout the whole thing. Yep. He said he was going to set up his camera and just let people react, but that is not what he's doing at all. Nope. First of all, the way he's dressed obviously is going to entice people to 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 approach him, right? right. If he literally just set up a camera and you know wasn't even paying attention to them or whatever. Then that would be more of a – one of the things that really drives me nuts about all of these guys is when they use the comparison to their cameras and security cameras because they love to do that. Their fans love to do that. To me, that's one of the things that drives me particularly nuts because if you truly, really, truly, honestly, like you say you are, we're trying to see – how regular people react in certain situations or how people are treated by employees or whatever it is you're looking for, because they'll always say, well, I could just FOIA that footage. Then why don't you just do that? Because then you will see the honest reactions. Then you will see the real reactions. But no, they don't because I don't think you will. nothing happens. I don't but, think you will see a lot of honest reaction through even security tapes because a lot of it will be redacted. Well, right. But my point is, like, most of that footage is going to be nothing happening. Exactly. The only reason these things are happening is because of these idiots. Idiots yep. like this guy with the fake beard and the, you know, like. Yeah. I mean, he could have said in the beginning, I'm going to set up and I'm going to be wearing this. Because I want to see how many people come up to me and ask me what I'm doing. That would be honest. Right. No, he said, I'm just going to set up. And see and see what happens. Not anything about what I'm wearing, or I'm going to walk around and film people while they're eating, or or I'm going to entice reactions. That's not what he said. Nope. Exactly. I I have no control over what they do. When you're dressed like that, that's not purposely going out of your way to draw attention to yourself. Yeah, and he's he didn't set up in one spot either. He went and actually started filming people while they were eating obviously went up to the fence there and was filming them while they were eating. You're going to get people asking you, what in the heck are you doing? I'm eating. Why are you filming me, you creep? I'm eating. Yes, exactly. It's so insane that their sycophant, sheeple, brainwashed fans love this and think this is great and don't see it as just stupid pranks. All right, let's see what else this is. Yeah, so far I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Yeah. I like your style there. Uh, oh, crap. What's your name? This is the first time I ever heard of you about 10 minutes Past ago. Unremembered. Past Unremembered. I like your style. This is good stuff. Yeah. You didn't run your mouth. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I appreciate you, sir. Thank you. Do you comprehend the essence of the term liar? Given your apparent unfamiliarity with the notion of passivity, we suspect that you either fail to grasp the concept of dishonesty or deliberately choose to disregard how effortlessly you manipulate others. You were not engaged in the production of a documentary, nor were you intentionally excluding customers from your frame. The bearded gentleman here was exceedingly friendly and certainly did not deserve to be deceived. It is evident that you thrive on confrontation, for without it, your content would lack the captivating allure that keeps your simple-minded audience engaged. 
Regrettably, it seems that you prioritize your own interests above notions of right and wrong, displaying a blatant disregard for ethical considerations. Hey. What's up? You tell me. We're just hanging out. Cool. cool. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not going to stop the video again after this, but I have to say that's the third time that this video has had commentary from the um, history. Now, I, I have to learn this name immediately because I am loving your commentary. I mean, like... Past unremembered. Past unremembered. Past unremembered. Past unremembered. Ladies and gentlemen, subscribe to Past Unremembered right now. Right now. I want to see their subscriber count jump now because Past Unremembered, the commentary is... Everything that I'm pausing it to talk about immediately afterwards, they pause to talk about. Like, wow. And the way, and the, uh, oh, this is great. I'm loving this video. What do you think so far, Ray? I'm loving it. Yeah. I'm, I'm liking the commentary that they have in their video. Um, it, I, well, obviously, they obviously they obviously they they obviously they've been around in the community a while because they they're just as frustrated I know that by this that, as everyone else is you know so right. I like that too that they just didn't walk into this and say hey you know I'm just gonna say a few things and then you know that's my video you know what I mean I like that right. so. I'm thinking the graphics. I'm, I'm, I mean that opening really like whoa. You know what I mean? It's this whole thing is, is so impressive for yeah. a new channel. I mean, it's activating a lure that keeps your simple minded. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, crazy, you know. Let's see. Let me get back. Good. I just hit reload. Um, all right, you picked up a few subscribers just now. Um. So hopefully we can get your channel popping fast because you're awesome. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. This is a, I love this video. This is great so far. Okay, thanks, Blackheart Knight. That'd be great. Cool. Have a good one. I will have them filming. I I don't need to. I give good hints. Let me. Your hair is done. Is it? Yeah. Oh my God, what a comment. Is he harassing you? Yeah, he was. He's harassing you. I'm sorry. Filming? Yeah, I'm filming you work. Oh. Yeah. So, just ignore us and go ahead and work. And yeah. Hi. What is what for? The filming. Oh, it's it's to film uh, your restaurant, maybe some of your customers, and right now you. What is this for? Oh, we're doing a documentary about the area, a video documentary. Some of our customers in the patio are not so comfortable with that, so if I can ask you to stop, that'll be great. No, I'm here working. I understand. No, no, this is our private property and they don't need we're to be on, filmed. We're on public property. You're filming a private property. So Correct. if you can stop filming it, I appreciate it. No, no, no. We're being we're being paid to do this. You can pay me and we'll stop, but I have a contract. I have to do my work. Thank you for not disturbing me. It is now plainly evident that you are nothing more than a liar. Although your actions may not be blatantly illegal. It is important to acknowledge that attempting to extort money from someone is a serious legal issue. We are taking steps to ensure that the establishments where the recordings were made are aware of the necessary measures to have their images removed from YouTube. Furthermore, we have reported the attempt at extortion to YouTube, trying to extort someone in exchange for not being uploaded on this platform, is against YouTube policies. We need to ensure that everyone involved understands this matter and that they take appropriate steps to prevent it from happening again. We can't do what, sir? We cannot do that. 
Can't, can't do what? Can't do what? Can't do filming. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Okay. Please come. Sir, we're here to, to do a documentary on the area. Okay. We're yeah. going to stay in public. We're not going inside. You have uh, nothing to worry about. Don't shoot inside of this one, okay? No, I have to. No, you don't. Yes, I do, sir. My boss gave me orders to do this. I'm getting paid. Oh, I'm not telling you now. You're not very nice to me. No, you give me your ID and business card and all your tax records. Come on. No. Come on. I don't know who you are. So you're, you're, you're harassing us. We're out on the public You're harassing us. No, you, no. You're harassing you're coming out customer. to us. Video recording is not harassment, sir. But you coming out to us and barking orders is harassment. Come on. Just pretend we're not here. Come on, Come on where? I don't want to go. We cannot shoot my customer. So we can, and we will. No, we don't. Yeah, we are. They were filming us just now. Yeah. I got your pictures. Over. I got yours too, okay. sir. Yes. You can take my picture. I did my makeup today. Yeah. So, so good. I, Go ahead. Okay. Sir, you're disrupting our work. Yes, sir. Please don't disrupt us. Uh, come on. I'm asking you. So, okay. I'm, I'm going to call the police right now. Okay? Yeah, call the police so we can report you, sir, okay. for disrupting me. Yes. You're harassing me, sir. You harass me. Please call the police on yourself yes, and I will report your harassment. Yes. You can leave me alone. I don't want to date you, sir. You're not my type. I like big boobs, big butts, big hips, and you don't have any of that. So you can mind your own business. He's, he's on the phone to the police for what? We haven't done anything wrong. You have come up to us. And you, look, she's, she's recording us. She had her camera out. Record. Look, she's recording us, sir. Look at that. She's using her camera. Exactly, and I'm on uh, public property. Uh, I'm not hiding my face. Why would I? You want me to take my clothes off? No, you're not getting that. You can pay me, and I'll take my clothes off. I know I'm in shape, but you got to pay me to take my clothes off. I don't think you can afford it, lady. I charge by the hour. Oh, look, they have cameras up there. So there he is on the phone, wasting the dispatcher's time for absolutely nothing. Do you want to go over what you've been up to here? You were supposed to just sit back and observe, but that was a lie. You deceived multiple individuals and even attempted to extort someone to prevent themselves from being recorded. And now, you're denying any wrongdoing leading to taxpayer funds being squandered on cleaning up the chaos you created with the clown act you imposed on everyone. He comes out and harasses us and then claims harassment? Make it make sense. Make it make sense, guys. Look, look at him flapping his mouth to the cops. For nothing. Fake beard, glasses, mask. Don't forget to tell them I'm really handsome. You can't forget that part. Two handsome guys with video cameras. Look, wasting police resources. Wasting police resources over two men with cameras. The entitlement of these people. We're videoing everything. I explained to him we're doing a documentary on the area. What? The entitlement of the, we're doing a them? documentary, ma'am. That what? For us. Isn't that one of the things that these guys do that also is so freaking annoying is when they say that their marks are the ones that are being entitled. That just guessed my flabber. Like, did he just say they were the entitled ones? Right. Why? Because they don't want you filming their patrons that are eating on the patio? Holy entitled. Oh, my God. How dare a private business try to control their business? <laughs> and protect their, their patrons that are trying to eat in peace. Right. What entitled little brats. <laughs> How dare they? I can't believe it. Oh, Good man. Lord. Yeah. <sighs> Mr. Ghost Haha is... is very quickly becoming one of my 
ones that I really, really, really despise. Like, on a deeper level. Like I said, ever since I made that video on him, it's just like, ah. In fact, there have been a couple times, not this particular one, but there have been a couple other videos that he said I wanted to cover, but I'm like, I just did him. So I don't want to just become like, I'm just doing the same guy all the time. But yeah, he's horrible, horrible, horrible. I'm literally just speechless at that. Like, what? Yep. They're the entire... <laughs> yep. I'm sure Past Unremembered will address this. Yes. I'm not yes, sure yes. what they have to say about it. Yes, yes. I can't wait. I'm really enjoying this. Once yeah. again, ladies and gentlemen, Past Unremembered. Didn't know who they were 20 minutes ago. Now, one of my favorites. I love this. The style, the commentary, everything. This is great. I, I, we don't have to explain ourselves to you. Just pretend we're not here. I don't have to. This is my camera. My camera, my choice. My camera, my choice. Real nice lady. I will. The police will see all this harassment when they come. They will. They will. Everything's good. But serious anxiety in here, and you're making her chatter. She's freaking out. I don't want to know that information about your daughter, sir. No, you guys should leave. No, you should leave. Leave me alone. You're giving us unnecessary information. Please do not harass me, sir. He didn't get copyright on Led Zeppelin? Oh, we were filming uh, this restaurant, the front door. Yeah, we were filming the front door until you talked to me. So now we're filming you. So. But I don't give you consent to film. We were already filming. You spoke to us. You spoke to us. Our camera was pointed that way. Okay, but I don't want you guys filming me at all. Okay, well, we have to record everything out here. Yeah. So any more questions? We'll, we'll get back to work. Okay. Yeah, this Whatever you wanted. That's your camera, your choice. And we have extra. What are, what are you guys filming for? We're doing a documentary in the area here. About what? A documentary a documentary about the area, the entire area. Okay. A lot of historical value. A lot of nice people, too. So okay. we're, we're getting all the nice people. Okay. Yeah, that's it. What are your guys' names? Uh, you can call me uh, Gandalf the White. <laughs> What's your name, sir? My name's Evan. Nice. Nice to meet you, Evan. Nice to meet you. Nice. I'm Fist Bump. Fist Bump. Yeah. Any other questions or that's it? All right. Thank you, guys. Just pretend we're not here. Everything's good. Oh, no. 
I can't hear you, ma'am. Can we help you? Can I help you guys? Can you, uh, you tell me. Do you want to bring me out some uh, clothes to check out or? Who's in there? That was weird. Who's in there? Okay, that was weird. We're just out here on the public sidewalk. What are you guys doing? You guys need anything or? No, but it's a little weird that you're filming us. It's weird? Yeah. How is it weird? You guys walked out to us. We were out here minding our own business and you made a free choice as a free no, person. No, wondering what you're filming. Oh, well, you should have asked. Well, I wasn't up here at the time. Nobody asked us that question. What I'm, are you filming? Well, right now you. Hello. I, we're filming all your merchandise. Okay. That's it. Nothing to worry about. Have a good day. Okay, so here's another thing that I like to talk about with these guys. It's always in my head, too. When they say we were just minding our own business, what I always say is, and none of them, I ask them all the time in their comments, and I've never gotten a reasonable answer from anyone ever to this question. How is filming other people's business, how is recording Someone else's business, the same as minding your own business. Is that not literally the exact opposite of minding your own business? It never made sense to me when they would literally be standing in the doorway of somebody's business, filming, and then tell them, mind your own business. You're the no. one who's not minding your own business. You're filming This me. is my business. You're filming me and my business. It is literally my business. Right. You're the one that needs to go mind your business. Right. Never made sense to me when they say that. When you're filming somebody on the street or you're filming in a building or whatever, when they're like, mind your own business. It's like, um, you're filming me. I am my business. Right. <laughs> <sighs> nonsensical stupidity and their fans eat it up <laughs> they love it they think yeah 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 how dare these karens not mind their own business good morning chat good morning donna ray good morning donna ray we're watching a new anti-frauditor channel called past, past unremembered past unremembered they're great go subscribe right now don't 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 walk run and subscribe right now or just click your mouse. That works too. Yeah, there you go. You don't even have to move just your fingies. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What are we shooting for? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we're doing a documentary on the area here. Oh, okay. We we're just yeah. wondering because we didn't know what you were filming. Oh, now you know. Well, what's the documentary called? Uh, well, we, we don't have a name yet. I'm uh, we're actually hired by the people making the documentary. Oh, okay. So we're just gonna uh, we're hired to film everything up and down the street, oh. and then the uh, documentary maker does whatever he wants with the footage. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions or? No, thank you. Thanks. Ooh, why are you in my face, bro? I will defend myself if you do that again. I don't want to kiss you. Why not? You could go down the street for that. You're too fat, bro. You're a fat ass. Do that again, see what happens. Touch me one more time. Touch me one more time. I'm sorry? We had all your customers leave. They, that's their choice, sir. 
You have the power to influence the implementation of laws that regulate public photography, just like in other parts of the United States. By disrupting the peace of others, you are paving the way for stricter restrictions. Don't take our word for it, do some research. Your actions are enabling businesses to back these laws. Thank you for your contributions. We're doing a documentary on the, this restaurant. Yeah. Okay. okay, past unremembered. I now absolutely adore your channel because I say that all the time. Ding, ding, ding. Stop yelling. I'm sorry, but that's, 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 I say that all the time. That's one of my biggest beefs with these douche canoes is that their actions ultimately are going to lead to lead to laws that are the exact opposite of what they're supposedly fighting for. Right. We've been saying that forever. Oh, man. Don't have to yell. You know that I'm passionate. You can be passionate with a normal tone of voice. You just blew my eardrums out. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Stop. Stop. I would just like to say that smooth talking has a cat. Loves it. When people See? Out. Look what you did. <laughs> Yes, this yelling scared my cat. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I'm back to normal. Just two, two. We are all very passionate about this. Okay, all of us. But smooth talking has a guy is here to teach you all a lesson, ladies and gentlemen. The only thing that matters is how cool I am. I put the applause, but it's too bombastic. <laughs> I'm here to wake people up in the morning. Let's go. Uh, well, you only got one minute to the cupcake dance, so let's go ahead and filibuster till then. Well, all right. So <laughs> let's. <laughs> anyway, <sighs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your ears. I apologize. It's probably not just mine. I mean, you scared his cat. <laughs> you scared his cat. Look, we have. Five gifted memberships from Greg Jonick. Yes. Yes, yes. Here's your happy dance, Greg. All right. All right. Thank, you. Thank you, Greg. Awesome sauce. Sandwich sauce. Awesome sauce. It is a boss. And now it's time five for the cupcake. Happy day. What? I said it's 520. Um... 8.20 my time. All right, let's go. All right. Okay. Ole, all right. So anyway, getting back to the point, though, my whole thing, what I'm always saying is, because they're always talking about, well, we're here to educate people that it's legal for us to do this, right? But what I always say is the only thing you're actually teaching people is that they don't like what you guys are doing. There she is. All right. The only thing they're actually teaching people is that people don't like this. So what's going to happen is eventually people are going to start pushing for stricter laws to restrict this sort of activity because these people cannot be trusted to behave like human beings on their own. And they're like, well, there's no law against it. Well, then people are going to, the more people you piss off, the more people are going to support politicians that want to pass laws against that, that do restrict that sort of behavior. Yep. There's already evidence of that happening. Yep. Of laws changing to be stricter. Yeah. So We've thanks already for taking away our freedom, you douche canoes. Yeah, we've yeah, already seen right. evidence of, you know, buildings being more locked down. You need more, you need appointments. You need, um, I just lost my train of thought. You need appointments. You need um, employees to take you where you're going in the building. You you know, it's there's signs everywhere. No, em, you know, employees only. They've changed to key card access everywhere. You can't get in. You have to, you know. 
There's guards everywhere to let you in the building. Do you have an appointment with who? Let me see your ID and let me match it against the appointment list. And you have to go through all these hoops and all these buildings now because of them. Yep. We're losing freedoms that we yeah. used to enjoy. I did. I never minded going through a security checkpoint in a building. I felt safer that way. I knew that nobody was getting in with a weapon and that they knew who was in the building. Yep. I didn't have to walk around scared that somebody was going to start, you know, ending birth certificates while I was in the building. Yep. But that seems to be what they want. Right. Do they want to be in a building and know somebody's going to come in with a bag of weapons and start using them to end people's existences early? I mean, it's... That's it. I've said this a thousand times. If the frauditors got their way, real criminals, it wouldn't take them long to figure out that all they would have to do to get away with any crime is just go like this while they're doing it. Because as soon as you go like that, nobody's allowed to stop you. Right. So, Because Fourth Amendment, Fourth Amendment, Fourth Amendment. Yep. <laughs> no, oh, they don't want any security checkpoints. They want to take out the x-rays. They want to take out getting body wanted. They want to take out having to ID. Can you imagine if there were no x-rays or anything this today with the web with people being crazy yeah and especially in a courthouse where there are judges who put people away for many 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 moons they get out they're so mad at that judge yeah they don't or care the who's lawyer. Or the lawyer or the lawyer yeah the prosecutor they don't care who's in their way or try to scare and intimidate jury members right i mean come on there's so many things that could happen if you don't have security checkpoints and x-rays and what is wrong exactly. with them? That's why I was screaming. <laughs> it does. It did, Frauditor Watch. It did. It changed the world we live in. But I'm fine with security checkpoints. I'm totally fine with signing my name to use a bathroom. I don't care. If you're not doing anything wrong, they will not bother you. Just like locks keep honest people out. Security yeah. checkpoints, honest people will not mind them. They will go through them all day long. They will go through the inconvenience. Nobody likes taking their shoes off in an airport if they still do that. I don't know. I haven't had a vacation in a while. But they do. At least last nobody time likes I, it. I had to. Yeah, nobody likes it. But you know what? You do it for the peace of mind of sitting in your seat on a plane and knowing nobody's going to get up and go, in the name of whatever God I believe in, I'm going to take this plane down. You know what I mean? Right. Heck or be no. like E.W. Cooper and just do it in the name of stealing money. Well, he parachuted. Well, oh. yeah. It was a whole different thing. But yeah. <laughs> Anyway, let's check out the rest of this video. This is great stuff, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Well, we'll have somebody come with you. Nuvas? Yeah. 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 Nuvas? Oh, we're not in there, sir. Yeah, what are you guys coming for? We're doing a docu. Uh, are you? We're doing a documentary on uh, some of the restaurants here. Oh, sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you like interviewing people? No, no, we're out here minding our business. We're doing like B-roll right now. B-roll. Yeah, that's what we told the the manager. I assume he came out here, yeah. and uh, we told him the same thing. So we're just working. We're not bothering anybody. We haven't spoken to anyone. Are you actually, put it on YouTube. YouTube? No, you no, no. Know, no. You don't know where you're gonna put it. Sick. Just like LA uh, businesses? Pretty much. Yeah, we work for somebody that's doing the documentary. Uh, so that's about it. So why do you have to hide your faces? I'm not hiding my face. <laughs> yeah, you are. How am I hiding my face? Why do you, okay, well, why do you have a costume on? A costume? Yeah. What, what, what do you mean costume? I'm confused. What's, okay, for sure. Right on. I mean, are you talking about the beard? 
and the, well, the glass is pretty sick. Yeah, yeah. It's just well, like sunny out, so I was like, why are you? Yeah, why well, wear the beard for religious purposes? Oh. Yeah. So. Okay. Cool. Is there gonna be religion in the documentary? Oh no, no. This is separate from what I'm filming for my boss. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. So. That's right about on. it. <laughs> Paparazzi? Oh no, not at all. Oh. Is there someone famous in there? I don't know. I, I oh. some break. Oh, are you the famous one? Yeah. You have the million dollar smile. <laughs> I think it's you. Have a good one. Right. The restaurant. Did you? Have, I'm sorry. Did she say something? Yeah, she's speaking. Oh. I said, "What? What are you guys filming?" Oh, everything. Everything. Because I don't necessarily want to be on camera. Thanks. Okay, then walk away from my camera. Mind your own business. Grab it. Take your camera and shove it up here. So the police told them already we're on public and Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. I thought he only filmed people that approached him you? first. Stop what? I just feel very uncomfortable with pointing that in my face. Oh, nothing's in your face. I'm way over here. Just like, no, pretend I'm not here. Yeah, they want reaction. No, I told her to pretend I'm not here. I'm not here for a reaction. Look at that liar in Floyd Hotel spreading lies. Who's the liar? Why are you still filming her? It is truly ironic that your channel bears the name Ghost. By single-handedly fueling opposition from businesses, you are inadvertently impeding our freedoms. Each passing day witnesses further restrictions on our liberties, and you are only accelerating this process, rendering the concept of freedom a mere ghost for future generations.
However, rest assured that we will vigorously combat your endeavors, aiming to ensure that your actions fade into a past unremembered. Thanks for watching. All right. Like, share, subscribe. Yes, yes, yes. The content shared on this channel is intended for informational purposes only and should not be considered legal advice. Viewers are strongly advised to consult with their legal advisors for specific legal matters. It is important to understand that the information provided may not always reflect the most up-to-date legal standards. Relying solely on the information provided here without seeking guidance from a qualified professional in the relevant jurisdiction totally is not recommended. Individual legal counsel is oh. best equipped to determine the applicability of the information oh, that, to unique that, that, circumstances. Wrong button. Accessing this platform or using any link resources does not establish... Right. Yeah, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Round of applause. I am so happy that you came here and, 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 and mentioned that you have a channel because I loved that video. That was great. And I like the fact that they mentioned too that they're um that they're working behind the scenes to you know let these businesses know what these guys are about and all that. Um because I know you're an advocate for that as well as I am, so absolutely. Keep that was that was awesome. I, I really I really dug that. Yes, yes, that was very enjoyable. Don't forget people to subscribe right now. To, I wrote it down. <laughs> The past unremembered. All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for past unremembered. And let me make sure I hit the like. I subscribed. Let's see. I think uh, when past unremembered came here this morning, they had, what, nine subscribers? Now they have 26. Hey, that's a good start. Blackheart Knight is going to um, put them on his channel, too, later. Nice. Yes, yes, yes. Love it, love it, love it. Let's get this starty parted. Let's get let's get past unremembered up there and get them monetized quick, quick, quick. Because it's awesome. And and the graphics and everything were amazing too. Like really, really good work. Good morning, Ancient Chart. Good to Ancient see you. Chart, Ancient Chart is in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Damn crows. Why, why, why? Awesome! Ah, oh, crap! Mm -hmm. I knew those girls had guns. Hey, Carl. Who? What? Last girl standing master meme officer. Oh, I was saying wow. good morning. It's easier it. to say his name than that. That's why I just said Carl. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Um what's How's up? your coffee um, this morning? Um eh, sorry. I think I made it a little too strong actually. It's kinda bitter. Bitter. Yeah. Okay. Why don't you add some more cream to it? I'm out of cream. Oh, fudge. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, well. Fudge, fudge, fudge. Maybe I'll buy a bottle later. Maybe. Maybe, baby, I'll see you. Maybe, baby, I'll be true. Maybe, baby, I'll see you someday. I have some sugar-free Snickers flavor creamer on it. Ooh, can you ship it over here? <laughs> yeah, I'll send it through email. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, what's, what's up? It? So what's up? I like this channel. I think they are going to go places. Yes, absolutely. Great. I love it, love it, love it. That is my prediction. Yes, I agree. I, I like their Speaking stuff Speaking of channels that are going places, have you seen Will? No. I have not either. Hmm. He's but not I, here. Well, I know you're listening, Dag Nabbit. Yeah. Show yourself, sir. Yes. We need to see you. Mr. I'll come out in the morning. <laughs> Where right. are you, Will? 
Willow, 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 where are you? <laughs> we love you, Will. If you're listening, we love you. Oh, you did last night briefly, Donna? You saw him? Cool. At least I know he's all right then. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know, he's like my little nephew. You know, I got to check in on him. Yeah, he's he's a good guy. We like we like Will. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Thanks, yep. Donna. Appreciate you. What's next in this uh, party we've got going on, sir? Well, um, let's see. How about um, let's see. Do you well, have to here, link to on, Mr. Ghost? Hold on. Do you have the link to Mr. Ghost Ahaha's channel? Oh, they really want that? Yeah, they want it. They want to pay him some love. Here, how about I got here? You can get there through this. Where, where's my thingy? There you go. I'll well put it in the chat, Gus. I got it. There it is. Mr. Hezokai put it in the chat for you guys. If you want to go over and say hi to him, tell him how much you like his documentaries. <laughs> we do not encourage any bad comments or any harassment. Yeah, definitely don't harass him, but you can don't definitely harass go over and him. tell him. <laughs> yeah, whatever you truth. do. Do not harass Mr. Goes. <laughs> <laughs> Just say hi. Tell him much you love his documentaries <laughs> and his social experiments. Yep. <laughs> oh man, that's hey, conspiracy music on your way to the DMV. Ugh. Hey, oh, no. can you record it? Can you record yeah. it? <laughs> Make a video. Yeah, oh, can you man. record your experience at the DMV conspiracy music? Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you, Mrs. Pretty Lady? Can you just call me Ray? (gasps) Can I? You can, yeah, you don't have to call me Mrs. Pretty Lady. You could call me Ray or you could call me like Mom. (laughs) Mom! Oh! Oh, my heart just grew five inches. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. But I, I'm not sure if, if Mrs. Accountability Angel, my real mommy, would be she, Where is she? Have you seen her? Oh, no. There you go. And I love you. Oh, thank you. I love you too, Ray. Oh, I said it. Yay. Yay. Oh, and I love you guys too. All of you guys are beautiful and wonderful. And I love spending my mornings with you. It, it takes a while to stop calling somebody one thing and start calling them another because you get used to calling them that. So it's okay. You can call me Ray, Mr. Pretty Lady. You know, whatever you're comfortable calling me, how about that? Uh, uh, how about uh, uh, as long as I don't call you late for supper? <laughs> that sounds fine. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, well, I just wanted to tell you all that... Um, uh, Never. Yay. Okay. All right. Hold on, guys. Let me go get a needle. Daddy, 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 daddy. He said a bat. You got a bat? Oh. Wait, Do you have a bat? I could use as a bat. Hold on, guys. Okay. Right, well, what do you want? Oh, just wait. I'll be back. Yeah, you take your time. Well, well, while he's looking for that, we have Griffy, two dollars. That news now voodoo needs a good. Baby voodoo needle smack. 
A needle slap? What is that? Well, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> oh, no. oh no, that hurts, Hess. Take that thing out of my face, will ya? Oh, thank you, Hess. Oh, what the, oh, what are you doing, man? <laughs> oh, that hurts, man. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Drinking that whiskey, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yo, go back to bed, stinky. To bed? Oh, yeah, man. My room was spinning the other day, man. You know, when I was in court. <laughs> Thank you, Black Heart Knight. Thank you, Griffey. Appreciate it. And then yes, we have. Yes, yes. Thank you guys so much. Here's your happy dance. This is a holy crap hammer sandwich sauce. We got $10 from Doc Leno. Hey, Doc Leno, story time weekly premiere every Sunday at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time on Joe's channel of YouTube.com. Doc Leno started the brother. This is the original brothers, Grim, Hansel, and Gretel this Sunday. All right. Ooh. All right. Love it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Doc. Yes. Awesome. You didn't have to you don't have to pay $10 to say that. Because yes, thank you. Yeah. If you emailed me, I would have announced it. But well, does he have a ranch? Yeah. Yeah, we well, yeah, you can drop your own links. Yeah, and I or you could have if you wanted me to announce that, I would you could have emailed me and I would have announced all that. You didn't have to pay to do that. But thank you. Yes, thank you so much. You guys are very, very generous people. Yes. Yeah. Best fans in the world. Most generous, kindest, sweetest. We love you guys. And and I can't so, wait. The Hansel and Gretel is a, yeah, is a, a good story. story. Yeah. Especially the that's Brothers Krim. It's like, wow. I like that. You know? Yeah. No doubt. That's great stuff. Great stuff. Can't wait. I'm going to listen Publish the link to Past Unremembered. Absolutely. What happened? Past Unremembered's link. Ah, yes. Definitely subscribe to Past Unremembered, ladies and gentlemen. All right, here we go with a Black Heart Knight, a video. There you go. Um, oh. What's that, Ray? Hey, Pastor, remember, thanks for everything on a visit to my in-laws. Thank you so much. Here's a happy dance for you. All right, you're going to need it if you're going to visit your in-laws. <laughs> Here we go. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Williamson's West Virginia at the local sheriff's department with a frauditor who is, well, extremely butthurt that he got arrested by several officers in the area because, you know, he had a warrant out for his arrest. And, well, he just didn't take too kindly to that, and he wants to file complaints on him. And he wants to speak to the highest person in charge, but the sheriff isn't good enough for him, and he wants to speak to somebody in a higher position than the sheriff. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Here we go now, back to get some complaint forms. Find out who I turn them into. No big deal. No big deal. Yeah, you say that now, but. Uh, you're about to turn it into a big deal, and you're going to want to go over the sheriff's head to complain on him. Typical frauder are always wanting to go go to the highest level of management, but in this case, 
that sheriff is the highest level of management in the uh, police department. So you can't get any higher than that. How you doing? Hi. Can I have some options for the plank for us, please? Some what? Options for the plank for us. Hey, hey, what's your name and badge number? Six. What? Hey. 17. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Lord, sir. What do you want now? Office for complaint forms. You'll see. But listen. You gonna, you gonna file a complaint office? Why wouldn't I? I don't know. Why wouldn't I? I'm a, you're a public servant, and you won't look at me and tell me you don't work for me, laugh in my face. Listen, you can't disrespect me like that when you're on duty. Oh, oh yeah. I know it's sad, ain't it? Yeah, it's really sad that you have fallen for that fraud or a myth that uh just because he's a public servant means that he's your slave nope that's not how it works your name is not on their paycheck and you can't order them out around like they're a bunch of dogs nope doesn't work that way you laugh i want you to laugh bro please laugh right y'all violated so many of my rights able to listen I do, right. No, you, what I wish is y'all would get educated and understand that we got rights. You're not my boss. You have no authority over me. You're, well, I'm not right. It seems that you're wrong. You work for me. Yeah. Yep, yep. He's definitely been brainwashed by these uh, frauditors who uh, have got him thinking that uh, police officers are there to serve him as a personal servant. I mean, the way he talks just screams it. So yeah, he's definitely drank the Kool-Aid and joined the cult. Okay, you're right. We'll see. Okay, I just need some complaint for you. Just, just have you there. I'm, I'm good. Okay. Here, I'll step out in the hallway a minute and people get out of here. Yeah, yeah I ain't got no problem with that. Okay. Can I just grab some complaint for Hey, who do I turn them into? What are, you, what are you talking about? I need some officer complaint forms, and I'd like to know who I need to turn them into. To follow a complaint on an officer? At, yeah, absolutely. A bunch of you. Okay. Me, you, you followed me. A few of No, I'm fine. I'm not giving you a complaint form. I need all, I need your boss. I'm not getting. Gary, I'm the sheriff. It don't matter who's your boss. Gary, I'm the sheriff. It don't matter. You got a okay. boss. Who? Do I? I don't. Who, who is my boss? You tell me. Well, the public, first of all. Okay. Well, but, public. But who, to the public. Who's your boss here? Who do, I, who, who do you answer to? Gary, I'm the sheriff. Who I don't do you, answer. There's no other higher law enforcement than me in Mingo County. Well, who does internal affairs? Damn. Yeah, I know. Y'all shouldn't have violated my rights. Okay. Right. Yeah, anytime a frauditor says that their rights were violated, all I really ever see is the cops doing their job of dealing with somebody who is interfering with an investigation or let's say, uh, frauding a post office or social security office, or just outright harassing people. What was it that you were arrested for? Because you don't have that video on your channel. You've got other videos on your channel related to it, but not the actual arrest video. Huh, I wonder why. Okay. Do you have business here? I need some complaint forms. That's Amanda, a... can you give me a complaint form? I know, I need four or five of them, please. Okay, four or five complaint forms. Yeah. Still acting crazy, man. I don't. I ain't call. I just asked for some complaint. Complaint for them. I need officers to complain uh, for them. Yeah, just a regular complaint. For them. That's what we take one. Somebody came in and complained to an officer. We took a regular complaint. For them. And who's, who's internal affairs, then, Mister Smith? I don't have any internal affairs. Somebody, I, I'm not turning in a complaint to you on yourself. That don't make okay. no sense. Well, I don't know who's going to investigate me. Right. I'll find out. Okay. Go to the Trooper Johnson, the state police. That's right. Yeah, I'm I can't wait to see him, sir. He's one of the issues. Oh, so you have a warrant out for your arrest. You didn't tell us about that in the beginning. So, in other words, your rights weren't violated. You were legitimately arrested with a warrant. So, you're just like any other frauditor, freaking lying. Yeah, I, I know. Right. It's, <laughs> supposed, it's supposed to be educated enough to know that I have the right to fill my public. Right, you know that. Yeah. Right, you know that. I can film you all anytime I want to, and it's, you can't. Okay. You can't turn my constitution. You can't harass. I mean, listen. You can't turn my constitutional right into a crime, bro. You can't. Look up the law. I gave you the code. Well, <laughs> it don't matter what you give me a West Virginia code. Okay. It don't trump my constitutional rights. That's what. 
now the picture is becoming a bit more clear. I only got part of that code that the officer spoke before the uh, frauditor cu cut him off. Uh, but it did involve harassment. So, frauditor, uh, what were you doing exactly to uh, harass people? It couldn't have just been the uh, filming. It seems to me like you are that type of person to go out and stalk people, maybe? Yeah, that must be it. You must uh, have fallen down the frauditor rabbit hole because you think it could get you out of this kind of thing right here. Yeah, that must be it. You have no more business here, Gary? Uh, yes, I, I can be here all day. Yep. Thank you. You all have a good day, too. I'll be back to see you every day. Just make sure you have business. What, what Listen, this is my business. Listen, re you, re recording is my business. Is it right? You can't listen. I don't know. You're, you're interfering with people. Oh, you should calm down there, man. You, you're so you're good. Interfering with okay. <laughs> you tried everything. You grasp, boy. Yeah. yeah. But you know the filming is my business, man. Hello? Yeah. I'm going to let you have your phone. You have a good day, man. Gary, where are you going? What do you mean, where, wherever I want? What do you mean, where am I going? Crazy going up here. What's going on? Yeah, man, you act like you got authority over me, bro. You don't have authority over me. You don't. Y'all's head, your ego's so bad. So bad, it's crazy, man. Where am I going? A hell follow me. We've got a, why do you not going to make a favor for somebody? For what? I'll explain it to you once I get it. For what? To the process of getting followed. What? I just need to work where you're going. Well, I'm just going to call it right here, folks, because he doesn't get served with any papers at this point in time. In addition, there are several witnesses to his case that walk by while he's filming, so I'm not going to put them on the video like he did, I guess just for intimidation's sake, which leads me to believe that his warrant was pretty much well-deserved. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. All right, all right, all right. Out of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for the one and only Blackheart Guy. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> yes, we love Blackheart Knight, big supporter of the channel, and we always support Blackheart Knight. We love him, we love him, we love him. Um. Well, any uh, commentary on that video there, Ray? I couldn't really. The guy, ugh. <laughs> I like the sheriff. Yes, the sheriff was cool. That's another thing, too, though. Like, I wish more people would, like, turn around. Like, when the frauditor is, is basically all in his ego... Saying, oh, you guys and your ego. It's like, you're the one who's being the douche canoe that thinks he's the ruler of the universe and everyone has to bow to your women, lick your boots. And you're calling us tyrants and you're saying we have ego? Like, are uh, you serious? Yeah. I liked when he asked the sheriff, who's your boss? Yeah. Uh, and then he's like, the people. So bring the paper to the people. <laughs> yeah. It's like, are you... Are you special? Are you special? I think you're special. Plus, like, it was hard to understand the guy. Like, he was very, very, very thick accented. Like, did your mom marry her brother? Or <laughs> is your daddy also your uncle? Oh, no. <laughs> is your daddy also your uncle? Uncle Grandpa. Oh, no. I'm my own grandpa. Remember that song? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's good stuff good stuff good stuff oh my goodness anyway um i got some uh bizarre dog activity going on right now so i'm gonna have to check into that so let's just hop right into the next video um the next thing i have uh on deck is uh team skeptic so i know that you don't like the sovereign citizens they make your eye twitch so get ready ray <laughs> <laughs> here we go ladies and gentlemen This video today we bring together two of the most destructive personalities into one courtroom a sovereign citizen who's also a karen now you know it's going to be crazy when it opens up like this your honor yes sir 
Um, before you call the case uh, you think I might be here on, I've had a chance to talk to Ms. Seeley. She was in the MIDC waiting room, and uh, I explained the charges to Ms. Seeley. However, she would like to know under which jurisdiction I operate. I've explained that I'm a criminal defense attorney, and I don't operate under any jurisdiction, so I don't think she's seeking the uh, services of an attorney at this time, and the court may like to speak with her. So let's begin. Thank you, Mr. Batar. You're welcome, Judge. These are 23HR0457A, B, and C. These are here on Township versus Bonita Seeley. Ms. Seeley, were you able to hear Mr. Batar just now? Oh, first of all, are we on the record? Yes, ma'am. Okay, are we under penalty and perjury? Are we on what, ma'am? On the penalty and perjury, if you're willing to swear in. I'm sorry, ma'am, I can barely hear you. I said, is everybody willing to swear in on the penalty and perjury? Ma'am, we're not taking testimony as of yet. Today is the day and time scheduled for the pre-hearing and adjourned arraignment pre-trial in these matters. It still has to be placed on a record. He still has to be put on the penalty and perjury because he's swearing to a, an alleged Man. crime against it and holding me accountable. So even though this is just a hearing, it still has to be put on notice for the public as well. Well, this is a court of record. So one could say that your stupidity is being put on public notice every time you speak, especially when you say something really stupid, like your lawyer needing to be sworn in under penalty and perjury. Because A, your lawyer isn't testifying, so he doesn't have to swear to anything. And B, it's penalty of perjury, not penalty and perjury. You know, that distinction seems pretty important, especially if you're going to be representing yourself in a criminal matter. Ma'am, today is the day and time scheduled for the pre-hearing and the arraignment pre-trial. Would you state your name for the record, please? Benita Seeley. Ms. Seeley, Mr. Batar is the court-appointed attorney assigned to this courtroom for the day. He's indicated that you don't wish to engage his services. Is that correct? No, let me explain my position. I asked him a simple question about jurisdiction. That's why this hearing has been readjourned for today, because the last hearing, none of the attorneys could answer the question in regards to what jurisdiction that we're operating on. So they want to proceed without addressing the jurisdiction, which is a violation of due process. So in order for him to be representing me on any public record, I have to understand what jurisdiction he's operating on. Ms. Seeley, if you do not wish to use the court-appointed attorney and you confirm as much to the court right now, Mr. Batar can go back, ma'am, Mr. Batar can go back and do other things that he needs to do this morning. Do you wish to use Mr. Batar's services or do you wish to represent yourself this morning or do you wish to retain counsel through some other mechanism? Under what charge, under which jurisdiction, and then who's bringing the charges against me? Ma'am, there were citations issued against you in Huron Township for limited access speeding 11 to 15 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. That's a civil infraction. There's count two, no proof of insurance. And there is the misdemeanor of driving while license not valid or improper license. Do you wish to use the services of the MIDC attorney? Do you wish to represent yourself this morning? Or do you wish to retain counsel? Who? Are the parties bringing this claim against me? It's a simple question. Yeah, it's a simple question asked by a simpleton, and the judge has already answered you. The charges are being brought against you by the state of Michigan. They're criminal, so you're facing potential jail time. You sure you don't want that lawyer? You I answered your question, question. ma'am. I answered Who's your question, ma'am. I answered your question, ma'am. And could you re answer it? Because I didn't hear it. Who's bringing the charges against me? The citation that was issued to you was issued by an officer from Huron Township, Freddie Yono. It's the citation that was issued is signed. 
So it's Freddie. It has his name and his ID number. Ma'am, my question to you is, do you wish to engage the services of the court appointed attorney or may I release him to go back to do some other work? Wait a minute. I have questions before I can answer on. You're trying to get me to. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yes, it's a, no, it's a due process violation. Objection. Yes. Miss Miss Seely, this, is, this, the, is, Ms. Seeley, this is the this is the this is the third and last time I'm asking you. Will you be using Mr. Batars to represent you this morning, or do you do you wish to re retain your private attorney, or do you wish to represent yourself? I need to understand what jurisdiction we're under. Mr. Batar, you may return to your breakout rooms to meet with other potential clients. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, I Ms. Seeley, do you intend do you intend to represent? I'm sorry, Ms. Foley Carter. I just want to uh, we started this case back in July. Ms. Seeley attended her first pretrial. Um, she demanded that the case be dismissed. I declined. Um, I asked that the case be set for a bench trial. Uh, Ms. Seeley objected, and Magistrate Hinman advised her to file a motion stating her objection. Since then, she asked uh, Judge Green for her oath of office and then didn't appear for the court dates before um, Judge Oakley. So this this case has been going on for quite some time with no resolution. Because it's my, my, I'm asking a question and it requires a rebuttal and it's being ignored. You cannot violate the due process. This is a hearing and any questions that I have needs to be answered. You don't get to sit in the capacity of government and, and ignore the questions that the people have. Someone's bringing a claim against me. And my only question is, are we dealing in a commercial or a common law, also known as a record of law, court? That's simple. So are we in a common law court, yes or no? No, it's not common law. You're currently in the 34th District Statutory Court of Michigan. They handle criminal and civil matters. And no matter how many times you say it, you do not need to understand the jurisdiction of this court. It's for your lawyer to understand. What you need to do is go sit in the corner, shut your crayon muncher, and let your attorney do his job. Marianne, a trial, a in-person bench trial date in this matter, please. Objection. Objection. Are we in a common law court, yes or no? January 23rd case dismissed. at 11 o'clock. Case dismissed. Case dismissed because you refuse to rebuttal to the question but regarding jurisdiction, you cannot proceed without honoring the jurisdiction. You cannot be in Ms. the capacity Seeley. of a... Yes. The misdemeanor matter and the two civil infractions Objection. that are traveling with it that were, that, were issued on, that were issued on April 26, 2023 will be set for an in-person bench trial Objection. in courtroom number one. Objection. In I will not be showing up. Objection. I will not be showing up. You refuse to answer the question of jurisdiction. You're trying to get me into the courtroom so you can take me against my will and lock me up in a cage like an animal. Objection. More like ab stupid, because if you're truly concerned about your freedom, then you better show up to your next court date or you will be locked up in cage like an animal. You do not have jurisdiction over me. You do not have judicial authority in North America. You are working for a municipality called the state of Michigan. You have no jurisdiction. You are an attorney. You work for a corporation. You are in a municipal capacity. You have no authority. You call yourself government. Your position is a public Ms. servant. Ms. I Seeley, am the director. Ms. Seeley, no, you cannot proceed as an attorney. No, objection. I will not be showing up in no, court. I will appeal no this question, matter. Objection. There is no question pending objection. to you, ma'am. This court will be muting objection. you at this time because this court I, the court has muted Ms. Seeley as her responses are not objection. responsive to objection. the matter that is before the court. This matter is being scheduled for trial. If Ms. Seeley wishes to absent herself from that trial, that is her absolute right. That trial date is January Objection. 23rd I will at not 11 be showing up. That concludes this matter. Ha, that's what you think, Judge. Thank you, Objection. She just had to get that last abjection in. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I held this video for a few weeks to see if there was any movement on the case. And sure enough, just as she said, she didn't show up to her next court date. So there will be a bench warrant issued and we will most certainly see her back in court. So if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike.
but don't forget to leave a comment below and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of my content. I'm Team Skeptic, and I'm out. All right. All right, Team Skeptic, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no, I think his room, his new room's got a lot of echo in it, though. Was that just me, or did you notice that, too? I did. Yep, yep. Ah, oh, man. Um, but anyway, um, so let's see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got here? Um, contempt of court. Yes. I would have held her in contempt, absolutely, positively. Um, oh, my goodness gracious me. Um, oh, man. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, let's see what else we had. Um, I think... Um, <laughs> I think since we're on the sovereign citizen spectrum, we can move right into the next video, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Van Balian, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, man. All right. Anyway, let's watch this next video. And then um, after that, we'll wrap it up. That'll be. After this one, we'll be ready for the last half hour. Thank you guys for joining us again. Love you guys. You're the best fans in the world. Let's go with some more Sovereign Citizen nonsense. All right. To speak to Judge Esau, the magistrate judge of this third judicial circuit. Therefore, I can take you into custody. Welcome back to the Van Valian channel, guys. Today we head back to South Dakota for a traffic stop where this sovereign citizen, who I'm sure you're all familiar with, gets pulled over for the second time for the same offence by the same officer who previously gave him a correction ticket. Of course, this officer believes that laws are something you can just ignore. Unfortunately for him, this officer is not impressed with that attitude and deals with him accordingly and calls out the hypocrisy in his arguments and his fee schedule while he's doing it. Right, let's get into the video. Good evening, Mr. Daly. Good. Hey, you still don't have that front plate on there, and you still don't have the plate light in the back. That's laying down. That's not the plate that's required by the plate light. And then the plate light's still out. Any reason why you didn't replace that? Any reason why you're not wearing your seatbelt? Yes, but you haven't corrected the violation, so. You have your license with it? Huh? You have your license with it? Yep, you are. Fine, I still need your license. You don't have to answer any questions, but I still need your license. You're going to hand your license or not? Yes, you can give me a lawful order to hand your license. So, yeah, the conversation is a bit difficult to follow due to the engine noise, I know, but it does get better shortly when more police arrive to get him out of the vehicle. So, stick with it. Anyway, now he pulls one of the biggest Karen moves I've seen yet by demanding to speak to the magistrate immediately, which is strange coming from a soft seat, and especially when you've seen how he treats judges and magistrates in court, which we saw recently. Uh, but the way this officer calls his bluff is brilliant. I'm not paying for anything. Can you give me your license now? Okay, I can take it to you requesting to speak to a magistrate, that's fine. I'll take you to jail. You can sit in jail and speak to Judge Keith Bravamore. No, I'm, 
I'm telling you that that's what's going to happen. You're telling me you want to speak to a magistrate, so I will arrest you. I will let you go and speak to a magistrate. That's what we can do. That's what you just requested to speak to Judge Esau, the magistrate judge of this third judicial circuit. Therefore, I can take you into custody. You're refusing. He's the magistrate judge of the third judicial circuit. Let's cover it for the count. Okay? So, I am asking you, actually, I'm giving you a lawful order to give me your driver's license as well as your insurance. I have two violations on you. No front plate, which you have not corrected since the last time I stopped you. And the no license plate light, which you also did not say. I didn't write a specific time on there. It's almost been a month, Andrew. Um, yep. And I can cite to the first time I chose to give you a warning the first time. I gave you I gave you an opportunity. Okay, I didn't cite to the first time. I don't have to give you a warning. It's officer discretion. I gave you a warning the first time. I didn't put a specific time on there. Well, first of all, it's funny listening to him demand to speak to a manager, sorry, magistrate, when later on in this video and in previous videos, he complains that no man has the authority to tell another man what to do. So why are you demanding to speak to the manager like a Karen? Props to this officer for calling his bluff. And secondly, it took me literally 30 seconds to find the law related to this violation. And it says you have 10 days to correct the violation. So complaining that the officer didn't put the date on the ticket is not really a good enough excuse, is it? Okay. I'm ordering you to give me your driver's license. Yep, I do know who you are. Give your insurance if you have it. I'm giving you a law for it, yeah. Yeah, and I'm not going to do it. <laughs> That's what you are. I don't know why you think that the sovereign law, you can, you can be a sovereign citizen, but yet you still have license plates on your vehicle and still comply with the laws of the state, but yet you won't. Who said I was a sovereign citizen, he says. Well, dude, you know, if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, guess what? It's probably a duck. Okay. Are you going to comply or not? Yes. I'm giving you a law for order. I'm giving you a law for order. I'm not compensating you for any law. Okay. The sheriff's looking. Do you want to take him The deputy client, he would like to speak to you. Nope, the sheriff's not coming up. I have no other supervisor on. There's a deputy here. We've got a deputy here. Get up, too. Can I come over that side? I can barely hear. Do you mind if I come on that side? All right. I'm going to come around the back. I'll come around that side. Thank you. Right, so they spend the next few minutes going back and forth trying to get him to identify and arguing about lawful orders and basically telling him that the side of the road is not the place to argue this. But it's difficult to follow over the sound of the engine, like I said before. So I'm going to fast forward to the part where they get him out of the vehicle. Right in the front there, Mr. Davis. That's ordered. Yep. 
giving you a lot of order. I can control your movements. Supreme oh, Court says so. Yeah, that's what them. you believe, Mr. Yep. Taylor. That's what I believe. That's what Supreme Court believes as well. Okay, Mr. Taylor. So are you going to give me your insurance? Are you sure ordering me? I, I, dude, I comply with I orders. Me, We've I've been given over this. A lawful order multiple times. If you look at the definition of contradiction, this guy's face is the first result, or at least it should be. He is literally a walking, talking contradiction at this point. Complying with lawful orders means not spending five or ten minutes arguing whether an order is lawful or not. Driving without liability insurance or an alternative proof of financial responsibility in South Dakota is a class two misdemeanor. So, yes, you were being given a lawful order. And sticking your head in the sand will not change that. Okay, I've given you lawful orders multiple times. I've told you that. If you're okay. not going to comply with that, I don't know if you have insurance. Last time I know you had insurance, I don't remember what the expiration date was. I don't know if you oh. need your insurance. It's still valid. Oh. If you refuse to provide the insurance, I don't know if the truck has insurance. If you're not going to provide that, I'm going to kill the vehicle. And I'm going to summon you into court for that. Which I know you're going to take this court and you're going to have to fine. Are you going to provide the insurance for me so I can get you back on the road, on the road back home? It's not in my pocket, buddy. Well, where is it? You want me to ask your wife for it? Hmm. Well, where do you think it is? I'm done playing games. I ain't playing no games with you, man. Are you gonna Are you gonna give me the insurance or not? I have no problem showing you insurance. Then where is it? Do you believe it's on me? Oh, I'm not playing games, says the guy asking a police officer to guess where his vehicle insurance is. Yeah, I believe it's in the club box. Can I go get you the insurance if you want? You may go ask my wife for it. I will go ask. Her. I don't know why you just don't correct the violations, man. You could have been on your way. There's no reason for me to stop you. But now, you haven't corrected them. You're, you're, you asked me to not prolong the stop, and yet here you are arguing about it. Well, if looks could kill, eh, guys? He just cannot stand this officer calling out his BS, which gets better at the end of the video when he mocks his fee schedule. He knows he's in the wrong, he just cannot bring himself to admit it, and that's kind of sad. Also, it makes you wonder how he treats his family. Maybe he uses the same gaslighting tactics on them, who knows? Give me another opportunity so I don't have to stand out here in the cold. Again. You most like standing out here in the cold, but I don't mind it. I'm going to stop all night. So, no? You can see I'm all insulated, man. I like the cold. I hear you. I hear you. Don't mind. I'm going to get the press on, so... Hey. Andrew, do you have your license or not? I believe I do. Okay, well, I guess I've made multiple demands for you to provide that. Are you going to give it to me or not? Are you ordering me to provide you with it? I've yes, given you yes. multiple lawful orders before. Are you ordering me to provide you with it? You want me to give you another lawful order? order? How many do you want me to give you before you're completely refusing? I'm not refusing anything. I well, you are. You gonna I've given you multiple, multiple lawful orders. I have not refused anything. I've asked you when you're going to compensate me for the last orders that you've given me. That's not the way this works, and you know that. So I don't know that. All I know is I'm that ordering you, orders I'm another giving man you a lawful something. order. He compensates that man for the orders he gave him. Yeah, well, maybe that's how it works in that alternate reality you call a life, but here in the real world, you follow the law or face the consequences. Also, apparently, he did try to charge them for his time, but I guess it didn't work out that well for him because this was the response from one cop when he tried the same scam a few months later. Well, you guys are going to release me and stop wasting my time, or I'm going to charge you for my time. Yep, we tried that once, or it didn't work so well, did it? Oh, you think I tried that? Yeah, so I know who you are. Oh, okay. How the fuck does someone fit back here, really? Not very good. And the door slam clip was added because, well, do I really need an excuse to play what is arguably one of the best soft sit door slam videos ever? I'm giving you a lawful order to provide your driver's license. You are ordering me, Taylor White, another man. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. 
so after 10 minutes of crying and whining, you eventually produce a valid driver's license, yet you still think you can bill the police for your time. And after being given a lawful order, and when the law says you are required to, the delusion is strong with you, my friend. Okay, Mr. Stadium. Citation here for the conspicuous display of the front license plate is required to be on the front and horizontal position. That's uh, conspicuous to display for anybody to read, okay? That's the first one that's a class two misdemeanor. The amount for that citation specifically is 132.50. Second one here is the no license plate lights. That is a petty offense in this state. You are required to have those. That's a petty offense, like, to me, like I said, in the amount of $25, okay? The total amount for both citations is 157.50. Giving you until December 28, 2022 to take care of that. Okay, if you'd like to go to court, you can do so on that day at 1.15 p.m. at the courthouse here in Flanders in front of Judge Pizzo. Otherwise, if you pay the ticket before then, which the instructions on how to take care of that are on the back of the ticket there. If you pay the citation, then you do not have to appear in court. They can use that money towards the uh, citation to resolve the case for Okay? Okay, I just have one thing. I, yeah. I'm not a defendant, man. I'm not defending anything. Yeah, so... I want to get a signature here saying that you understand that you need to either take care of that citation or appear in court before that day, or on that day, sorry, at 1.15 p.m. Okay, it's not an admission of guilt, it's just saying that you acknowledge the citation that you're receiving it from me. Are you acknowledging me to accept the title of defendant? Well, you are the defendant in this case. State, I told you I'm not defending against Dakota anything. Versus Mr. State. Okay. Okay, but I, I'm not defending anything. Well, I, I don't know what I'm, say. I'm not defending anything. Sure. So, like I said, I don't, I don't know. You're defending against these two charges. I'm so. not defending, sir. I'm sure I'm guilty of sin of these charges. Well, that makes it easy for the state to prove their case, I guess. And if his last case is anything to go by, all they will need to do is turn up and let him dig his own grave. <laughs> well, all I need is a signature there. Yours is quite nice. Are you under duress right now? Yes, I am. Okay. What would been... you like me to do for you? Well, I'd like you to leave me alone and let me go about my travels. Okay. Are you acknowledging the ticket? I acknowledge the fact that you're writing me a ticket and you place value in it. Okay. I mean, the other option is you request it earlier to speak to the magistrate judge. Immediately. Like, if you'd like, I can place you under arrest. You can go sit at the table. I until do not wish judge. to be under arrest, okay. sir. Well, then, I wish to travel then freely. Then we're going to do the citation so I can get you back on the road. So let me get this straight. You're not a defendant. You're guilty of sin. You want to see the judge immediately. But the only way to make that happen at this time is through the arrest process. But you don't want that either. But at the same time, you don't recognize the authority of the judge or anyone else for that matter. So in other words, you want all the benefits of living in a society without any of the responsibilities. That's the gist I'm getting from this. Second signature here. This is the power of attorney saying if you pay the citation, like I said, they can put that money towards these violations. That way you don't have to appear in court on that day. Once again, that is also not an admission yet. You are acknowledging this, correct? So what is that? I said you are acknowledging the citation, that's correct. I believe that you have placed value in them. I'll give you a license button. Make sure you get your violations fixed, okay? Get that front plate actually adhered to the front. They okay? can't be laying down flat on the back. If you say so, man. All right. And then get your uh, bolt in place there on the plate light, okay? Oh, we'll see what the court has to say about it. All right, that's fine. I'm in court all the time anyway, so I'll see you there. That's great. You can bring up your uh, $3,000 that you requested as well. Oh, so you're still refusing to compensate for the orders yes, you Yes, state of South Dakota. Uh, the state of South Dakota didn't order me to do nothing. A man okay. named Taylor White ordered me to do sure. something. All right, Mr. Kenny. Because I'm not I'll afraid of no the... man in a costume. Ain't no yeah. man in a costume yeah, going to tell me what to do. Sure. I'll see you on You're December no better 28. than me. You're another man just like me. 
I'm enforcing the law. I got a job to do. Right you have now. a very nice uniform, costume, whatever you want to call it. That's nice. But you're another man like me, and the state didn't order me to do shit. You opened your mouth as a man, okay. and you acknowledge. You're free to go. If I'm free to go, I'm free to stay. Okay. Are you, you're not going to leave? Do I have to? Well, then we're going to leave. Oh, okay. You're not going to sit here and do Bye. Bye. Right. See you later. Have a good one. Have a nice day. I'll see you in court. How to trigger a soft sit, just drop a bunch of citations in his hand and then just casually tell him to not forget to bring the $3,000 fee schedule he threatened you with to court and that will pretty much do the job. Seriously, I've seen soft sits get triggered in my comment section, but seeing it in real life is something else. Right, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you also to my channel members and patrons for your continued support. I really appreciate it. And if you would like to support me and get early access to videos like this, then the links to do all that are in the description. Right, take care all, and I will catch up with you in the next video. How the fuck does someone fit back there, really? Not very good. All right. <laughs> So, he's a sovereign citizen that has a driver's license, insurance, and all that crap. Right. <laughs> then how is he? Okay, I don't. I don't get it. Whatever. Well, well, well here's the thing, and I think because okay, that body cam footage was from 2022. Yes. And I covered a guy in 2023. And I think this is the same guy. Is that him? Yeah. This th didn't he just say it was he was pulled over twice by the, the officers? This was the second time that he was pulled over. Well, right, but that was in 2022. What I have on the screen right now is from 2023, so it would have been a year later. Oh, I don't know if this is him or not. Yeah, I think this is the same guy, but I don't know. But either way, this is this is good to listen to, but if this is the same guy, because I think it is, this makes everything he just did make a lot more sense. Because this, this clip, right, think, this looks like Travis Hines, like they were saying. Oh no, you're right. Okay, you're right. Yeah. Never mind. Not him. Yeah, <clears throat> Travis Hines, who lives in his car, and uh, yes, 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 with all the bottles hanging around. Yep, that's it. Yeah, that's yep. Travis Hines. That's not that guy. Okay. He lives yeah, in his car because he had um S, you know, uh charges for being a you know. Yeah. Well, anyway, you know what? It's still cuz this is an extremely short clip. It is important to listen to what this guy says because this gives you an idea of how some of these people think. Listen to what he says here. If you bait the cops, all right? It just doesn't end right there. You still have them you're still in that situation, so you got to make the most of it, all right? If you have just one cop, get them to call more. It's not that hard. It's uh, I've done it many, many times where um, one shows up, and then they have to get, like, five others. It's amazing. You And they, they arrive pretty quickly, too, the, the backup. And in a way... It's 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 kind of a, a refreshing feeling to think that you're drawing their attention away from actual real crimes that could have been occurring at that time. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's nice to know that that from, we get an admission of what we knew all along. You know, they bait the cops and then they stand there and go, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of you here for one guy. It's like, this, this is what you wanted. Yep. And the fact that he says it feels good to know that you're pulling them away from real crimes. Right. Like you're saving the criminal from getting caught. Like you have this God complex. Like I'm saving you from getting caught. Yeah. Come and tap me on the back. Like, woohoo. Right. Yeah, I'm a good feller, you know. Yep. Want to be friends with all the crooks so that when you're locked up with them, they won't come after you. <laughs> right. Be like, I'm the dude that allowed you to get away with what you were doing that day because I called eight cops away from being on patrol. Yep. Uh, so 
those of you watching don't know, Ray does already, but right now my dog is literally laying down on like the bottom part of my chair where the wheels are. So if I move my chair too much, I'll run her over. So I'm kind of stiff right now. I'm just going back and forth because that's all I can do without hurting You're her. You're stuck. You mean not stiff. You're stuck. Yeah, right. I'm kind of stuck in this position. Um, all the way over. What the did I say, thing. Christopher? Oh, Christopher's like, all right. No, Thank what you. did I say? Said I oh, said it I wrong. It's a guy nice with day. a camera. What did I say? I don't even recall what I said. You said it wrong. It's a guy with a camera. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember either. I don't even know what I said, but I probably did say it wrong. Whatever Maybe it saying it's a guy with a camera is to say, as opposed to saying it's a butterbrain douche canoe. I didn't say that either. Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. Maybe that's what you were supposed to say. Oh, anyway, it's an idiot yeah. with a camera. I don't know, but he just, he's an, this guy, I don't know how he, Travis Hines doesn't get like strung up more often because he drives around in that weird looking car with all the, the crap hanging from his ceiling, all the crap piled up in his car yeah. and sleeps in parking lots. And I don't know how they aren't like coming at him more often. Like what the hell's wrong with you? Yeah. What are you doing? You're not even like an RV, you know? Right, right. Oh, purple man, nightmare. Pretty... His wife, purple. It's my favorite. So um, I just don't get that guy. I know he's, he blames those, what he calls false charges, on, you know, the fact that he has to live in his car, but you can still pull your dang life together. Right. Funny people on registries and stuff that have jobs and live in play, you know, apartments, houses, all that stuff. When I worked in the Amazon warehouse, almost everyone that I was online with had a criminal record. Really has. Do yeah. tell. Do tell. Well, when you go to the Amazon uh, fulfillment center, it, they, they, you walk in the door and if you say, I want a job, they got to swab your nose. And if you pass the drug test, then you're, you're hired pretty much. Yeah, I know, but you said almost everybody has a criminal record, and that's why I said, do tell. Well, no, just like all the people I was on the line with, they used to talk. I mean, we didn't... See, when you work at Amazon, you don't really have time to chat with people because you're... It's all about speed. That's all they care about. But um, when you do have a chance to talk, I'd be like, hey, how are you doing? You know, you, 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 you're you, not getting it. You're not getting it. It's always over your head, man. I know Edward, free candy on the side of his truck, his little car yeah, here, or whatever it is he's driving. I don't even know. It tears all the, the crap off the side of the the doors. And it's like, what is the man? What is in this? This guy's they all have issues, but some yeah. have more like obvious nut so issues. Like what? is going on in your head man right what is happening to you <laughs> like i don't understand has i just don't you can't understand stupid when you're smart <laughs> i'm not that smart this is what people don't understand is you're smarter than these guys <laughs> i'll give you that <laughs> but i just do a lot of reading a lot of research you know right. and that's what they don't do. See, I'm not any smarter than anyone else just because I was a librarian, just because I taught. It's not that I'm any smarter. I just work a lot harder to retain information and look right. up information and read and find out what I need to know. Anybody can do that. They can do it. But see, it wouldn't fit their narrative to find out that, oh, my God, I'm all kinds of wrong. Like the guy I was fighting with. In unclean hands is a uh, comment section. I wasn't going to let him off the hook, and you came around and let him off the hook. What do you mean? I told him. I was using his words against him. He I said the actual law he was talking right, about. Right, right. But no, I was using his words against him. He said it was in the First Amendment 
that they can record what their eyes can see. Yep, and it's not. That's what I was arguing with him about. Not the actual law. I knew what the actual law was. I wasn't going to let him off the hook. I was playing with him like a mouse. <laughs> because it is not written in the Constitution that you can record what your eyes can see. No, it is not. There is no 2010 amendment to the Constitution. Because that takes a literal act of Congress. And yep. here you come going, here's the law. And I'm like, Kez, God damn it. <laughs> I was playing with him like a mouse in a bathtub. <laughs> like a cat with a mouse in a bathtub. But then did you see his last comment? He's like, well, I didn't come here to fight. I don't know what you're talking about. It's like, whatever, dude. Yeah, because he got proven wrong. And that law, that law that Obama signed into law, law, not constitution, law, has nothing to do with filming what your eyes can see. Right. Yeah, it's completely different. And it's not a constitutional amendment. That's for damn No, it's not, because that literally takes an act of Congress. Yep. I was using what he said against him, his wording, his exact wording, and you came along with, there's the law. I'm like, no, he was saying it was a constitutional amendment to the First Amendment that you can film what your eyes can see. Yep. And it's no, not. It takes a literally an act of Congress to change the Constitution in any way, shape, or form. Oh yeah. And and like you said, and it's the same thing with like when they say, "Well, SCOTUS said we could do this," and they said we could do that. It's like, oh no, when they say that SCOTUS said that you don't need a driver's license, it's like really, the Supreme Court made that determination, and not one state has complied, and they're just keeping their mouths shut. And, the right, only and you guys are the only the ones, and you guys are the only select few that know that SCOTUS made that decision. Right. Not even the heads of every state know this. No right. lawmaker, no legislator knows this in any state. Huh. Wow. What a, yeah, right? Amazing. I, I got under the radar. Yeah, so. I even said that to him. Like, so you're telling me that. Somehow, you guys are the only ones to know that Congress snuck a new amendment into the Constitution, and none of us know about it, that you can record what your eyes can see. Is that what you're telling yeah. me? Please link me to this. Right. And we somehow didn't find out about it, but you guys did. <laughs> right. Nobody heard about it. It wasn't on the news. It and he kept telling me deal. that I wasn't educated on the law. I'm like, what? <laughs> okay. It's in the first amendment that you can record what your eyes can see. And I'm like, there was no, what? There were no recording devices. When there they were no wrote recording it. devices back then. And it's not in the first amendment at all. Right. Maybe it was, you can paint what your eyes can see, <laughs> but not record. Well, we all know what the First Amendment says. It says if you're holding a camera, you can do whatever you want. Yes, I forgot. I'm sorry. I should go back and apologize to that schmuck about... <laughs> I shouldn't have argued with him. I guess I should go delete my comment to make it look like he was arguing with himself. <laughs> that would almost be funnier. Like, just delete all the comments except for so that it looks like the idiot's talking to himself. I never thought of doing that. That's a cool idea, actually. Yes, Rob, yeah. it's past unremembered. Um, can somebody drop past unremembered's link for me? Yes. And yes. hi, Friday or Comedy Show. It's good to see you. Yes, yes, yes. And don't and forget that smart. Past unremembered. Yeah. I'm just not. I just research. Research is, is easy. Google is free. Another great quote from the product of comedy show. Google is free. That's right. No, I said that. Just now. Or did she say it before? Right. She said it in one of her videos. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, Google is free. You're right about that for our comedy show. It is. It's free. Going to a library is free. Yep. They don't charge you to look at books nope. and get yourself educated. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. The more you learn, the more you know, the more you know, the more you go to the show. It doesn't and fit their narrative to actually look this stuff up. Yep. And then when they do, they quote mine. 
they find a sentence that's like, oh, there it is. That's what we're going to say. Yep. And they pull all of those out of context, too. You know? And then One when they my... lose the argument, I didn't come here to fight. <laughs> right. <laughs> you didn't? Because in right in your opening argument, you shot fight, fighting words at me when you called me uneducated. Right. Really? Really? Okay. <laughs> here we go, buddy. Let me crack my knuckles here. <clears throat> here we go. Ah. All right. <laughs> Loosen up my shoulders. Yeah. Getting funky with the monkey. Let's go. Yeah, it's uh, but like talking about like the quote mining and stuff. One of the things that that I'm always harping on too, and I don't know why they can't understand this concept. No matter how I try to explain it, they still don't seem to understand it. <coughs> Whenever they quote any like UCC, especially with the driving, because that's their big one. Well, I'm not driving; I'm traveling, which means that I'm not in a commercial capacity. Okay, so according to UCC, blah, 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 I don't need a license if I'm not in commercial capacity. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Do they think CC means commercial capacity? <laughs> Some of them probably do. I don't know. All right. Go ahead. Go on. <laughs> but anyway... What what I always try to explain to them, and maybe one of them will see this. I don't know. I, okay. Let's break this down. So you're saying that you're you're saying, I'm talking to you for auditors, sovereign citizens that quote UCC codes. You're saying that you're not in a commercial capacity. If that's true, and I'm agreeing with you, you're not in a commercial capacity. Therefore. United States commercial code does not apply to you because you're not commercial. You said you're not commercial. So this, let's say this is the code. This code doesn't apply. So now you're going to say, well, according to this code, I don't need a license. But you just said you're not commercial. So this code doesn't apply. So nothing that it says applies to you because you're not commercial. So why are you quoting commercial code and saying you're not commercial in the same sentence? If you're think not commercial, you commercial capacity. Apply. So no, there's that's why each state will issue you when you are driving a truck a commercial driver's license. Yep. And normal people like us will have a class, what, I don't know. Class A or class B or class C, whatever. You yeah, driver's do. license, like for a normal operating vehicle is up to a certain weight, you know. Right. That's why there's a difference. Of course, you're not driving commercial. You're driving a normal car, you yep. flipping idiot. <laughs> right. And that's why it drives me nuts, because... They double down on the fact that I'm not commercial and then again quote commercial code. If you're not right. commercial, the commercial code does not apply to you. So quit because bringing I, it up. I don't think they understand that it doesn't mean commercial capacity. And, you know, right. it's, um, they always do that, though. They're like, I don't want to be, I'm not, I'm, I'm a free man on the land. I'm this, I'm that. I don't need to have a license plate. I don't have to follow your laws. Uh, you don't have any authority over me. Eh, eh, eh. No authority. <laughs> but the Constitution says this, and I'm protected by this constitutional right. And this constitutional, what? no, no. You do not want to follow laws. You do not get the Constitution. Well, exactly. Where would you, you like me to it. put your butt on a plane and send you to? <laughs> right? That's it. It's like the other thing that they always forget. They like to quote mine this amendment and that amendment, but it's like the Constitution. And I have it right like here. The Constitution. Let's see. Hold on a second. Let me get to this. Okay. This, all of this, right? is the Constitution before the First Amendment. Mm -hmm. Seven articles. It's called okay. what? 
Huh? Right. What is it called? Say it with rights. me. Yeah. The Bill of Rights. Yes. But I'm saying before that. Oh, pizza. Was there pizza during that time when the Constitution was written? Did we have pizza? <laughs> Nice face you made there, Hez. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, the Bill of Rights was written before any amendment was ever written. And but the, well, first of all, pizza was invented in the 1880s, so no, pizza didn't exist when this was written. Thank but you. The point I'm trying to make is they always ignore the stuff before the amendments. They explained the judicial system in the Constitution. But they love to ignore that whole thing. The judicial system breaks out this way as laid out in the Constitution that you love to say, well, what about my constitutional rights? Well, we're trying to follow your constitutional rights by giving you due process through the courts, but you don't want to do that. You want to argue on the side of the road with the, with the officer. Right. I can answer this question, Mr. Persons, because I actually went into um, environmental health and safety on this side of it with the has uh, hazardous materials and stuff. So I do know why they issue both. Um, and it's not just because you drive a truck or you drive a car. You can get different um, uh, certifications. I would say certifications, but they're called something different when you have a commercial driver's license that allow you to either just drive a regular like a box truck all the way up to an 18 wheeler that carries the very worst of the the hazardous materials you know you can't just get a commercial license and then say i can drive a truck with hazardous materials in it that you cannot do that um there's different types of commercial driver's licenses for that and, you know, you have to know how to they have the paperwork all set up and everything, which is now mostly electronic. Some companies still do a handwritten, like, um, bill of ladings and uh, manifests and stuff like that. But usually they're electronic now. So, and you have to know how to um, keep your truck up to inspection worthy, things of that nature. And you just don't know how to do that if you only have a regular commercial license. So... That's why the states teach you both because there's different laws for different weights and classes and all that stuff of commercial licenses that, you know, most you have to go to class and learn how to drive them, learn the laws, learn everything surrounding that um, certification, certification that you get for that type of truck. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and it's a different, I mean, first of all, just going from a car to a big rig is a completely different, like you have to be trained in a completely different type of driving to be able to handle a big rig. Exactly. It's like especially backing up and all that. Forget it. You know, it's a whole different school. Um, so it's a different kind of training, a different kind of driving. And then, like Ray was saying, if you want to haul hazardous materials, then you have to go through a whole different training for hazmat certification. Yeah. Because you have to know how to handle that stuff properly. You can't just be tossing dangerous stuff on a truck, you know, and not know what you're doing. And, you know, who knows what kind of horrible accidents you could cause. Well, also, if there's a spill, they focus so much on if there is a spill, what you are to do if there's a spill. Yep. They harp that into you. Absolutely. What you are to immediately do what you're to immediately do after that, everybody you're supposed to call, you know, it's like, yeah, endorsements. Thank you. I couldn't think of the word endorsements. Endorsement. Yeah. Yep. Um, it's, it's so much harping into you what to do about spills because you know how, what, what happens with spills. I mean, they're just, they're so incredibly dangerous depending on what you're carrying. You know, there's some things that are so dangerous that they don't even move the stuff. They just bury it. You know what I mean? Big book, little bite for $2. Why didn't the toilet paper get across the road? It got stuck in a crack. What? It got stuck in a crack. 
<laughs> Here's your ambulance. All right. Speaking of crack, you know who our guest is going to be this Saturday? Professor Crack. That's the crack is back. The triumphant return of Professor Crack this Saturday on the Saturday Night Snafu and next week on the 23rd. Um, it looks like we're going to have Will. We'll see what's going on with that. That'll be good stuff. March 30th is actually now because uh, that's probably... I haven't finalized it yet, but that might be the weekend that I'm going back up to Wisconsin, finally moving back home. But at the moment, it looks like we got the grumpy old man scheduled. April 6th, Katie Zed. April, thir- April 13th, Dr. Leno. We do have, uh, I, for, I, for the date escapes me now, but we do have David Persons coming on. Um, I just forget the date. It, it escapes me right now. I'm horrible. I'm so sorry. Um, David Persons will be coming on the show. All right. Awesome. Finalize with him. Yes. So he will be here. I just I have to put it in there and um, get the date out of my email. I'm so sorry. But David Persons will be coming on and showcasing his music. And um, we'll be talking with him. Awesome. April 20th, Fraud or Watch. No. I told you that. No. Oh, never mind. April 27th, Little Chihuahua, Big World, and Fraud or Comedy Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The schedule is still, it's a movie. It's a living thing. It's changing all the time. But that's all right, ladies and gentlemen, because we're here and, um, we're out of beer, but that's all right. <laughs> I love you guys. You're the best fans in the world. Thank you for joining us once again. Any last words, Ray, to wrap up the show? Thank you guys again. It was a great day, and we will see you tomorrow. Love y'all. Yes. All right. <laughs> and as you know, as the Elvis gnome always says, oh, yeah, 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 I'm all shook up. says, made in Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris can eat soup with a fork. In a fight between Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee, Chuck Norris would win, no questions. Chuck Norris put his phone on airplane mode, and flew it. Water can drown, if Chuck Norris stays under it for too long. Out of 500 fights, Chuck Norris has won 600. Chuck Norris once strangled a man with a man's own eyelash. Chuck Norris can access the internet from a walkie-talkie. Chuck Norris can spell the longest word in the English language, with only three letters. Chuck Norris once went skydiving, without a parachute. The spot he landed on is now known as the Grand Canyon. Chuck Norris can hammer a wall into a nail. The only time Chuck Norris has ever faced a worthy opponent is when he looked at himself in the mirror. Chuck Norris believes in victims' rights. His victims have the right to dig their own graves before he kills them. What was going through the minds of all of Chuck Norris's victims before they died? His shoe. When Chuck Norris jumps from a building, the concrete commits suicide. Chuck Norris puts all of his baskets in one egg. Chuck Norris uses paper to cut scissors. Chuck Norris can flip a coin and make it land on both sides, at the same time. Chuck Norris can dodge rain. Chuck Norris can smoke underwater. Chuck Norris takes care of his guardian angel. Chuck Norris went to school so he could be studied. There is no theory of evolution. Just a list of animals Chuck Norris allows to live. Chuck Norris can whistle in five different languages, including sign language. Chuck Norris can strike the same lightning twice. Chuck Norris can sell money.
If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe.